You know, say whatever you want. I really like that fucking song. <clears throat> YouTube, you didn't get to hear it because obviously I can't because DMCA sucks. And that is the honest to God's truth. So, no matter what you think about anything else, DMCA can suck it anyway. <laughs> It'd be great if they stopped being so aggressive, but I don't think they ever will. Such is life. Anyways, YouTube, hello. Welcome to <laughs> the more Tales of Biseria. Uh, last part ended with us having a couple of skits. Medissa has come to be a seemingly mother figure for uh, uh, Kamoana. And uh, yeah, we're going off to the next um, the next Therian already. So hopefully everything goes well. But either way, YouTube, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, all that fun stuff. And remember, YouTube only cares about one thing, and that's the algorithm. So interaction, 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 which includes... Notifica the notification bell, leaving a comment, and again, the first two, like I said before, which I will say again, liking and subscribing. So, either way, all of that aside, <laughs> I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, get ready for probably more sadness? Yeah, yeah, probably more sadness. Um, at some point in here, we might switch and uh, use the model again. My phone's not exactly fully charged, so. But for now, hi. Okay. Let's go. Where are we going? I know what you're thinking. I forgot already. Yes, it's been a full day. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I don't think that song is that old either. But it's really good. I truly enjoy it. What in the... It's sour. So you've kept your sense of taste. In my dreams I have. Nowhere else. Does that make this a dream? It would have to be, wouldn't it? After all. I devoured you. That's right. Don't you go forgetting it. How could I ever forget it? The taste of your... <gasps> How could I ever... We're like two minutes into the episode, man. Can we calm it's down? Like fox rolling in. What? <laughs> Eleanor, there's something I want to be sure we get perfectly clear. Um, all right. What is it? Luffy <laughs> said is not your little Moloch. What? That's all you wanted to say? You realize he doesn't belong to you either, right? Indeed I do. Luffy said's his own person and not anyone else's. You're right. Malakim aren't just tools to be used by exorcists as they pleased. I'll be more careful not to forget that. Good, as long as we're on the same page. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of reminders, you haven't forgotten our little bet, have you, Velvet? You mean the 100 gold on whether I'd break? No, I haven't forgotten. A word of caution. People can fight against pain, but they can't fight against happiness. If you're keen on winning our bet, I'd steer clear of ill-fitting dreams. Sorry to break it to you, but all I have anymore are nightmares. That's so fucking ominous. What the fuck? Oh, you can't just... Okay, no, you're not allowed to just say that ominous shit and then be like, Yeah, we're at the port, right? Yay. No, shut up. <laughs> That's not okay. Good thing we didn't wind up getting lost in it. Of course we didn't. Who do you think is running this ship? A bunch of shameless rogues who are very That tone change was violent. Running. What the Damn fuck? Straight. But it's strange. These waters don't usually see much fog. Yeah. Oh wait, that's that's all we're going to Okay. 
No other thoughts other than that? Just fucking whatever? I guess it is what it is? Okay. Um... Like a castle. Is it? This used to be the base of operations for a rich trading family. When trouble came knocking, they were ready for it, to say the least. Wow. They must have had a lot of enemies. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, it's just another town in the middle of nowhere. But even so, to us, it was the big city of our dreams. You know this area well. I grew up near here. Keep on going, and you'll run into a ball. My home village. Ooh, should we go there? Letharian is. Yeah, somewhere in my village. Oh, fuck. Is that okay? No one will know me there. Everyone I knew, I already devoured. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting line to end that on. Okay. Man! I, we just started. What, like, what the fuck? We, what the hell? <laughs> Bruh. We just got here. Like, can I enjoy the upbeat Alan music for like five minutes before you're like, oh, damn. nothing but depression? I today was the day Nico was coming. I missed out on buying that special quiche. <sighs> That's too bad. I wish she'd just open up a shop here. You'd think it would be easier than always having to make the long trek from a bar. Ain't no way. I heard she doesn't want to leave the village because she's waiting for her missing friend to return. What are you talking about? A ball's nothing but a ruin. What? Well, you're a morbid young woman. Sure, the place was hit pretty bad by a demon a few years ago, but it's what? not like it's abandoned. Many of the villagers were hurt, but thanks to Lord Artorius, nearly all of them survived in the end. That can't be. It certainly is. In fact, there's a girl from there, Nico, who comes here once a week to sell things. Just yesterday, my husband sent medicine to the general store there and got some juicy prickle bore meat in return. That can't be right. I, with my own hand, I... Velvet? So, um, for those who did not watch the first part, Leth, you kind of just played this, I think, not too long ago, so you would know. But for those who didn't watch the first part, please go back and watch that. Um. When she was raging out, just like swinging at everything, um, she killed the entire village. So how is there still people alive? This is about to get real dark. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Velvet said a ball was wiped off the map, <laughs> but it sounds like someone's been coming from there with things to sell. Specifically her old lesbian friend. moved in? Apparently that merchant Nico is someone Velvet knows. She said something about Artorius having saved the village. Do you think it had something to do with the Earth Pulse point? I can't say. We've heard too many conflicting things. This feels wrong to me. Really, really wrong. We won't find the truth by wandering blindly in the dark. The path forward is our only way. Right. It's not like we can turn back. But Miss Mogulu, what if there's darkness ahead too? Then we'll take a nice nap together. Forever, probably. Oh. Well, this is about to be dark. Where's the... Aha! Hang on, one second. We'll just have to go there and. I wonder what Velvet's hometown is okay. like. A ball? I've heard about it from other sailors, although that was a long time ago. They said it's a fairly plain place, and it's home to rustic, hospitable folk. That sounds like any country village to me. I wonder if Velvet used to be rustic and hospitable. Oh, you mean to say she's devious and rude now? What? N not at all. <laughs> it's okay, you can admit it. It's pretty much the truth. Well, 
I imagine she was a plain, hardworking girl. Hmm? You really believe that? Call it a guess, really. I bet she was a cheerful, loving sister. Maybe so. Hmm. Mm. And now she's the Lord of Calamity. You if forget she sees it. Her former friends. Maybe she'll remember some of what she's lost. But what has she lost? Okay. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Wait, is that a werewolf with armor? Is that a, is that a werewolf with armor? Oh, no! Hang on. Never mind. I won't improve by fighting weaklings. Yeah, apparently that was useless. Oh, right, we can upgrade shit. Uh, we got money for it. I see what this looks like. Man. Yeah, we gotta go back. Hang on. I gotta level shit up. I gotta, like, upgrade shit. Especially because we can go to plus six now. Oh, it's so far away. That's why they give you a board in town, huh? Okay. Also, I should pick up some... Pick up some uh, life bottles. Gonna need those. Enhance. Martial art derivatives under certain conditions. Martial art what? Sure, but also what? Don't get that back. It will that in a second.
Oh, I'm so close to finishing this. Let's go. Switch over to that. One fifty five out of one seventy one. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, in hand. Okay, they're all go to boots once he's done, I guess. You can already go up them. I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeesh. Let's go. That festival over in a ball sure was fun, wasn't it? It sure was. Okay. What Wait, a what? cheerful and happy place. And the food was amazing. I'd love to go back sometime. I loved the prickle boar meatballs. Nico's quiche was so good. It was a master quiche. I hate this you. This Nico must be a great cook. I'd love to try this master quiche. <laughs> Where did you learn a joke like that? Anyway, Taliesin's Fisherman Festival is coming up soon. We've got to show the folks from a ball a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna help my uncle catch lots of tasty fish for the festival. What do you think you'll catch? Uh, pickled mackerel, tuna rolls, oh, and duck stew. <laughs> Those are all the names of dishes, silly. And a duck isn't a fish, it's a bird. I swear, you don't think of anything but food. I don't Nico's trust this. Quiche. I don't fucking trust this. Is this illusion on like a high level? Like, I. What do you mean? 
isn't real. I don't believe it. I don't trust it. Also, you guys need to be in here. We're level 30? Damn. The victory is ours. We are destroying them. Hey, she upgraded her shoes. You're the one that I want to change the shoes of? No, it's you. Oh, time. Finally. That took so long. All right, this one. Aimless glasses. Hang on. Perfect. You can change the geo board? <laughs> what? Is there a skateboard skin? Okay. There's like people here. I'm so concerned what we're gonna see. Chat, I'm not ready for this. Are we ready for this? Oh god damn Come on, really? Whoops. Well. Didn't uh, mean to skip through that that fast. Physical damage taken. Right, okay. What was I doing? <laughs> this isn't fucking mastered yet? What the f Destroying these guys. Are we? Are we too high a level for this? Up oh, boom. Say, do you know why Velvet was sent to that prison island in the first place? It had to be 
to funnel the other prisoners' malevolence to a Nominot, right? There's an Earth Pulse point near a ball, right? Wouldn't it have been easier just to leave her there? Lack of food, probably. I heard she devoured the entire village. Could that rumor really be true? Who can say? Let's ask Aizen's coin. You know it doesn't work like that. All right, let's think. Why else would Artorius move Velvet to the island? If she was the first Therian he captured... <gasps> he needed a guinea pig to test out what was written in the ancient book. Precisely. He made a special cage for her in the island prison, where Earth Pulse Point and Malevolence met. Then he used Velvet to test how Therians work. Ooh. Huh. I could see him doing that. But turning his own family into an experiment. Sounds like him. I'm just offering a theory. But a man willing to sacrifice his brother's life wouldn't likely show mercy to his sister either. How could he be capable of such things? Perhaps that's just how badly he wants to save this world. Or perhaps there's no other way it could be saved. Huh? Okay. Do you think there'll be ruins at this Earth Pulse point, too? If you're expecting something like the undersea or underground temples we saw before, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. Have you been there before? No. But if there's any such kind of grand structure here, it wasn't recorded in the Abbey's archives. Eastgand has long been a frontier, and civilization here was never really developed. Plus, the land to the east is said to be unstable, making it hard to build anything too large there. Even if a temple had been built there, the shifting earth would likely have swallowed it without a trace. The warship of Inominat may be widespread now, but just a few years ago, Empyrean faith was all but dead. Right. Still, if you actually searched for the ruins, I bet you could come up with something incredible. We've seen underwater and underground temples, so why not a temple in the sky? A temple in the sky? It's a romantic thought, and the ancients were certainly advanced, but... Flying temples are a bit far-fetched, eh? <laughs> hey, that's the beauty of magic. Anything could happen. A flying temple, a beautiful woman being sawed in half. The border between dream and reality is as fine as a frog's hair. Frogs have hair? You just spend too much time daydreaming. Maybe. <laughs> oh, there's the thing I need to kill. Uh, so quick save. Surely it doesn't like... You know they had hair because it's so fine. Uh huh. Oh God. No mercy! You thought I'd stop there. Annihilating? Crap! Holy shit! That was cool as fuck! I'm very close to death. I appreciate you. I really do. I really do appreciate you, but like, you can not worry about healing me again. It's fine. It's Wesker if he was British. God damn it, dude. But why? Because I can. And yes, that's literally the only reason. Okay with that. I think you're dead. Double hit more. 
God damn, really? You know, <sighs> I'm just concerned. I'm just one-shotting people. Oh, that's not great. No, I can't die here. I'm super dead. This is rough. Come the fuck on, man! Ugh. That, like, beam thing that it does, does so much fucking damage that it just, like, one-shots my team. Like, see? What the fuck? Honestly, Lafacet's really good at dodging. Oh, there's that dead. Jesus. Yeah, that's just, I'm just gonna kill it. I'm... Holy fuck. Provides the ability to trigger random skill, which can have SG consumption on hard motor above. Okay. That was rough. Holy shit. Yikes, dude. <laughs> We're doing okay for other things. That 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 was rough. Also, we haven't opened one of these in a while. Hey, drop earring right. Uh. Oh, it's gotta be this way, right? Why is it a dungeon? That's probably not a great sign, right? <laughs> Okay, we've played for about 26 hours. I'm kind of curious. Oh, we're in the woods, that's why. Right there. Oh, cool. We're about halfway through the game, I would say. That's pretty crazy. That's That's kind of fucking insane.
don't know if running past them is a good idea. About to find out, though. Were you able to figure it out, Kenna, or, or get some sleep, I guess, is the other one? Also, hello, Kenna. Morning? I, I I actually don't know. That voice. Help. What's going on? How can we go be here? Slow down. Keep it back. No power. Got you, Peter. Hey! Listen, I'm not gonna say that Rokuro and Aizen are fucking useless in a fight, but fuck, man! They are not being fucking good in this fight! <laughs> Looking so hot for us right now, actually. Quickness! One more! 
And yes. level are you? 42! Okay. On, get points so I can kick you guys out. Ow. Why? Jesus. Okay. We figured out a thing and we got some experience. We leveled up a couple of times. Oh my god. Good grip. Okay. Anyways, we just got Rising Falcon. We leveled up a bunch of things. Let's go. Found a skill that creates an advantage against demi human, armored, and undead, fiend, and dragon enemies on normal motor above. Nice. And Roku got Vengeful Scourge. Okay, okay, okay. I can't believe it. Is it really you? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, right. Velvet? What is this? How are you alive? I could ask you the same question. Where have you been this whole time? You just up and disappeared. Everyone thinks that you were eaten by a demon. Well. But I knew it couldn't be true. You're too strong to let some crummy demon take you down. What's this? You're alive. <laughs> oh. But like, sorry, I, I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. 
I have to let everyone know the good news. You finally come back to us. Nico's alive. She's alive. Don't let your guard down. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, for real, well, though. Naturally, we've got a Reaper with us. <laughs> Let's head for a ball. We can ask everyone there exactly what happened. Y yeah. There's no way. There's no way. There's so many reasons why there's no way. What are you no, fucking. What? Huh? Anyway, we mastered that's one of this. Plus side. This bitch is two away. Oh, that's so creepy. Okay, we also got Soaring Dragon and Rising Falcon. Oh. I got this for Dragon. Rising Falcon in here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Next page. Wait, what's that mean? It's downloading. Oh my god. Goodbye, Pookie. It was nice knowing you. Everyone say goodbye, Kenna. Bye, Kenna. We won't see Kenna again until Silent Hill fixation has rested. So um this is Kenna's uh two month, maybe more, um disappear. Uh we'll be gone. They will disappear from the internet. Yep. This is a see you next year, Kenna. Bye. But I have to ask, are you sure that the other villagers died that day? Well, it's it's not like I had time to check. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know where a ball is, by the way. Expeditions returned. Oh, didn't get what I wanted, so go. Back on with ye. Straight to the sea they go. feels about right this can't be after what I did when he killed Luffy Velvet are you all right of course I'm all right I know I'm right I'm sure of it this isn't how the village should be well let's stay calm and investigate 
I am calm. I'm fine. Really. It didn't seem like that was someone else masquerading as this Nico girl. But if she's the real thing, then something very unnatural is going on. You get me, Rokuro? Yeah. We better keep an eye out. Please keep an eye out. Don't let us believe. Because there's no way, right? Like, there's none. We killed these people. They shouldn't be around. They shouldn't be alive. Oh. Oh no. What hell have I found over? <laughs> that is an angry looking prickle boar, I think is what that is. We'll save. <laughs> They're like a prickle boar. Yeah, it's only probably like level 52 or some shit. See, I can do it too, you bitch. Are we ready for this? No, Behemoth, it's level 46. Can we, like, what's the fucking guard breaker thing? This thing? There we go. Bruh. Oh. 
There we go. To fall here. It was easy. Ow. Anyway. <laughs> A grants plus one initial souls to characters wearing equipment that has been enhanced a total of com a kind, but, uh, combined total of 25 times or more. Yeah, so I'm under leveled for the evil monsters, but they're still doable if you can kind of stun lock them, which I've learned if you just keep getting a third thing, you can just keep using Velvet's thing to perma stun lock them. Just saying. Pretty, uh, pretty not a problem, to be honest with you. All right, well, here's the city. I don't know how well this is going to go, but we're here. Velvet, you're really all right. Oh, thank heavens. It's so good to see you. Where have you been all this time? You never even wrote. But I don't. I I thought the whole village was wiped out that day. Yeah, it nearly was. But just when we thought it was all over, Arthur, Lord Artorius saved us. No, it was his doing in the first place. He sacrificed Lafayette. It really was a shame what happened to that poor boy. That's all you have to say? A shame? My brother Loppy died I'm that- I'm sorry. Truly, I am. But you can't lose hope, dear. He's right. What counts is that your brother's still alive. <laughs> He's... alive? He's... in your house. Don't worry, we've all pitched in to take care of him. Is it back in time or something? I don't. Velvet. This is absolutely a fake out, but how is it a fake out? Let's go to your house and see. Yeah. Okay. Luffy. Luffy's alive? What's wrong? Well, that didn't break it. Next time you suspect an illusory art, test out your theory on yourself. <laughs> you think we're all seeing an illusion? It's possible. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Dude, he just fucking cold cock punched him in the gut. He's like, oh, <laughs> it's so mean. But an entire village? That shouldn't be possible. Shouldn't be, no. How do we approach this? Try to break it apart at the seams somehow? No. For now, we and our enemies share the same goal. Come on, help me look for the Therian. Sure. I think I'll stick with Velvet. I won't stop you. Keep a close eye on her. I don't think she's entirely right in the head at the moment. Yeah. We just lose people? We just lost people. Okay. Hey, we lost the two shit fighters that I don't fucking like. God, they are useless. I swear to God. Wait, where am I going? That's this way. Velvet's home. Ain't no way. My home. It hasn't changed a bit. We need to be careful, Velvet. Aizen thinks this could be a trap. You think Nico and everyone are being controlled? I don't know. Yo. It's just... You think it could be Melchior's doing. But even so... 
It's not going to work on me. You're insane. Yep. Moving on. People can fight against pain, but happiness. Fuck! This was all a set. Oh no. I won't be deceived by this. You'll open your wound. He's been asleep ever since that day. I found him at the shrine, collapsed on the ground. <laughs> His wounds healed, but he's this is broken. so fucked. You better hope this works, so dude, because if it doesn't, you've matters. pissed off a very angry woman. I'll find a way to wake you again, Lafi. I swear I will. We'll be together. I still have to thank you for this comb after all. So that's where Velvet's comb came from. Did Lord Artorius really try to sacrifice such a defenseless child? What's wrong, Lafayette? You don't look like your usual perky self. I'm... I'm okay. I'm just glad Velvet's all right. What? Your name is Lafayette too? <laughs> what a weird coincidence! Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, sorry about all that, you guys. Don't worry about it. What are we going to do now? If it were me? I'd make Laffy said something he really likes for dinner tonight. He can handle soup. Maybe he'll notice the smell of your cooking and it'll wake him up. Yeah, maybe I should. Would you watch after him while I go buy what I need? Of course. I am at your beck and call. Is there anything I can do to help too? Yes, please. I'll need you to be my taste tester. That like 180, that 180 of her personality right now. Ooh, ooh, you hope and fucking pray that this shit lasts. You hope that this shit lasts because she's going to be very angry if you fuck this up. Also, she's going to be angry at whoever breaks this illusion. This is going to be so bad. I wonder if they've located the Therian. Let's. Just leave that to them. Oh no. You're not curious? Of course I am. But for right now, I want to stay close to Velvet. I've got a real But I guess there's no reasoning this. with madness. Or, or cats, cats for, for that, that matter. matter. Seriously, Seriously try to take the time to do a cat. They, they just stare at you with their, their lifeless, patronizing eyeballs for like a couple, couple of seconds, seconds and then they, they just walk away. away. And then you're like, don't, don't turn your back, back on me. And they're like, yeah. And you're like, and then they're like, yeah. But it is what it is, I guess. Maha! Hello! Thank you for the cats. Also, thank you for the hydrate posh and stretch. I shall do all three. And thank you for the hair pads as well. I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good time. Also, sorry you got tricked. <laughs> Trick or treat! <laughs> well, I hope you're having a good time regardless. I'll see you in 45 seconds, hopefully. Important than finding the Therian? Yeah. My stomach is twisted, and I've got a chill up my spine. Why? I'm really scared. She's smiling. Very well. I trust your feelings. We'll leave the Therian to Rokuro and Aizen, and stay with Velvet then. Thanks, Eleanor. Magilu, what will you do? Whatever I feel like. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked. Thanks anyway, Magilu. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? In the end, whatever happens, happens. Wiser words never spoken, right? Oh, we're going to learn stuff about Magilu, I think. Oh, I'm not ready for this to end. 
This is... This is bad. This is really... You don't fuck with these kind of emotions. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is about to be real fucking bad, chat. My luck. I'm sorry. But I'm glad to see you. Hey, could I get some eggs, milk, spinach, and tomatoes? And I'd love to know what cheese you'd recommend. Just got too. up. Hell yeah. Got it. Good morning. And in celebration or, of your homecoming. Yeah, good morning. It charge. still works. With you cooking up a feast like that, I'm sure Laffy said will wake up straight away. Thanks. Need your coffee? Get I that really coffee. Appreciate it. You're getting spinach? I can't really handle it myself. You'll never grow up strong if you don't eat your spinach, young lady. I've done just fine without it so far, thank you. <laughs> oh, if you insist, I'll leave it out just this once. Wow, Velvet, you must be special. Not many folks get to be friends with an exorcist. She's, She's not, not my, my friend. friend. <laughs> the way you two bicker, I find that hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Do you have any prickle board? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I'm out at the moment. That's fine. I'll hunt some up myself in the tranquil woods. Just like old times. Actually, there like haven't this. been any prickle boars there lately. You should try the Morgana Woods instead. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the tip. I don't like this. It's not okay. Alrighty. To the Morgana Woods to hunt some prickle boars. Yeah, sure. Alrighty? You don't like spinach, right, Eleanor? Well, you know, I just... All right, it's true, but keep that between us, okay? Velvet really seemed to be enjoying herself at the shop. Quite. And she can really pick out a nice balance of foods while making every gull count. Well. She seems so cheerful and carefree. That's the real Velvet. I'm sure of it. Oh, yes. guaranteed. An ordinary, dutiful, loving sister. I wish she could have stayed that way. She could have lived a happy life, surrounded by her friends. Just plain Velvet Crow, sister to Lord Artorius. Uh, and maybe not Lord Artorius, but just plain Arthur. A happy, ordinary life for an ordinary girl, with a kind family and supportive friends. Oh, sadly, that's not how this story goes. It's a really nice thought. That's not how this story goes. Uh, okay. <sighs> I don't I don't trust this. I don't like this. This is No. We're looking for prickle boars. Keep your eyes on the thickets. She's like helpful and like nice. 65% goodbye. Oh no. We're losing Kenna. Kenna, remember me. Oh, there's a prickle boar. Oh God! <laughs> What's this? Are we done already? Hannah's final message: Change the world. This is hunting. <laughs> we keep this up, and who knows how many we'll bring home. Oh, I don't like this. Oh fuck! And that was the thing that, um. Magilu said at the beginning of this chapter too is like or the beginning of this area kind of thing is like you can't you can fight against pain but you can't fight against can't fight against happiness that's like so much harder to fight against she's not wrong god it's it's like night and day she's like fuck you guys and then in the other thing she's like oh happy day hey your dearie how about you do the thing it's like what it is night and fucking day it is crazy I'll 
showed you the beauty of my spear They were nothing. Okay, this should be enough. Oh. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I just feel a little sorry for them is all. This I is evil? You. Yeah. Very. These prickle boars might have all been family. People can be so heartless. Yeah, I'd forgotten this feeling. But what can you do? At the end of the day, we have to eat just as much as they do. Yes, what can you do in this situation indeed? Oh, uh, Maggie Lou, you see it. Luffy's you see for it. Us. We should run on home now. Luffy. I don't like it. I don't like it. <sighs> All right. Oh, back home. To our, to our sweet and caring brother who's definitely totally alive. This is like... This is against like a lot of things. Like it's gotta be, right? This is horrible. How could you? I went the wrong fucking way. I went the wrong fucking way. Oh god. Okay, okay. Violent sound. Well, at least I opened the chest that I missed. Shopping, hunting, laughing with friends. That was how her life used to We're going to like it? get back to town and her outfit's going to change. It's again, it's going to be past. But wasn't your village uh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Trust it. The happy times I shared with my family. I still treasure those memories. And even after the attack, I've still been able to find happiness. Eating a good meal, making new friends. And falling in love? Yes, falling in... Love? <sighs> Look what you made me say, Bianfu! There's nothing to be ashamed of. Most every girl's happiest memories are of her first love, after all. Don't you think there was someone special out there Velvet had feelings for? A first love? Do you really think so? <sighs> That's enough of that talk, Bianfu. You sound like an old man. Yeah, Nico. No! Exactly. I'm only 150 years old and already being treated like an old man. I'd rather you were treated like a <laughs> cup holder. Just fuck off. But still, I would like to meet the guy Velvet first fell for. I wouldn't. <laughs> I see. You're a guy. Okay. <laughs> Odd way of putting that, but like I get the idea. This is where this is where uh, Fee finds out. Like, oh, it's a girl. I'm super fucked. <laughs> All right. Why is it dark? Aren't gone that long. The fog. <gasps> Are we still in the fog? Your brother. I'm happy for you. So, what's your plan now? You guys are snooping around the village. Yeah, we wanted to check out that shrine too, but we got stopped. Apparently, the Abbey's designated it off limits. If there's a Therian around, it's probably there. I'm going to draw it out. If this is a trap, things may turn violent. Either way, this place is about to get a lot less tranquil. <sighs> the same as everywhere else I've been. You can quit here if you like, but I'm going to keep on fighting the Abbey. And if I try to stop you, you'll insist, I presume. Velvet, no! 
I'll give you one day. Once you've made up your mind, come meet me at the Cape. I'm with him. How tomorrow shakes out depends on what you decide, Velvet. He, your hand, it's... Fine. As you can see, I'm a demon. Three years ago, I was the one who attacked this village and... I don't want to hear it! Demon, or no demon, you're still you! Okay, so, you're scary! I'll get used to it. I promise, I'll keep it a secret. Let's just live here in the village like we used to, okay? You, me, and everyone else. Nico. Ha. <sighs> That was rather good, Velvet. Yeah. Luffy said gets a gold star for being such a good taste tester, too. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll fix you up a nice stew. <sighs> hey, is this... It's the original copy of the book on Enominot. And all the pages are here. Velvet. Hey, Fee. Can I borrow your compass real quick? I'll give it right back. Please? Uh, all right. He really Got something on your face, by the way. More than anything else. Just like you, he loved to stare out at the sea. Wondering what's on the other side. He wanted to go adventuring someday. Oh, I didn't know that. I bet once he wakes up, you two will be really good friends. <laughs> so, this is what your life used to be like before everything happened, huh? What's gotten into you? Hmm, maybe I made the pudding a little too sweet. <gasps> Velvet, how do you know what it tastes like? <sighs> I think I'll get myself some shut-eye. But what are you going to do about tomorrow? Mogilu, are there arts that let the caster manipulate dreams? Huh? Dreams? Why? There is, yes, an art that requires a certain type of Moloch. It envelops you in a fog and reads your regrets, then traps you in a happy dream. We never an left the fog. Reads your regrets and shows you happiness. Oh. I'm going to the Cape. Now? What on earth's gotten into you? Anger. No. Don't you fucking dare. Velvet! Don't go. Stay here. Stay with me. This is Fee's compass. Let's go. I'm sorry, Luffy. No, but you're dead. Don't wait. Velvet, wait! Don't... Don't leave me here! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hey, my expedition's returned! This is so not okay! Fucking Leth, you were right about the fog, though. Also, 95%? Yeah, Kenna's gone. Alright, well, Kenna might be... Kenna, are you streaming it, or are you just gonna play it on your own? I, I don't know if that 5% has already happened by the time you wrote 95%, but I, you know. Was talking about? Oh my god, this is so fucked. This is so, like, not okay.
This is so I'm mean. Going to the Cape Shrine. It's time to drag out the Therian. Magilu is a witch. She would know. Yes, very true. So hello, Ultima. How are you doing? Velvet. There you are. Have a cow? Yeah. Velvet, you have to stop your friends. They keep saying they're going to the Cape, and they just won't listen. The Abbey's forbidden anyone from going inside. We'll all be punished if anyone breaks the rules. We're all dead anyway. I hate to say it, Nico, but I think I'm a terrible person. I really thought I could have my old life back again, and I could forget everything else. I tried to act like I was doing it for Luffy, but it was all for myself. But I can't forget. I shouldn't forget. Luffy is dead. He was murdered without even knowing why. I will never forgive that. Ever! So get out of my way. If you don't, I'll devour you again! Of it. Why? Why must you do this? There we go. The truth at last. At last. Ah, I love it. <laughs> First off, this is super fucking sad and very depressing, but at the same time, oh my god, it's so good. Oh, but is such a good character. Yes, she is. All oh, the eerie silence after that fight kind of hurts a little. <sighs> this way, the shrines through these woods. Hey, mind telling me what the hell's going on? It's a trap. Trap, trap, trap. Our enemy spun an illusion based on Velvet's dreams. That's a nasty little art. But Velvet saw through it all? She did. But even if it's all a dream, such brutality on her part. Eh, Velvet's always been our brutal poodle. <laughs> to shake off the dream by herself. Now that's something. The boundary between dreams and reality is demarcated solely by one's own heart. What? I'm saying she's wowie zowie cool beans. Come on, we gotta hurry. <laughs> I can explain it a little bit more than that, please. God damn. What fair. It was all a dream. Uh. Hell, even if it wasn't, I won't turn back. That because I turned backwards? Maybe. Wowie zowie cool beans. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> That may be the best way to describe somebody's fucking badass ever. Hey, how you doing? Zoom. Oh, Megalu is 100% right. I wonder how bad the delay... The delay shouldn't be that bad. I haven't lost any frames. Ooh. I don't see any much lag. Oh, well, you know, I just mean like, not necessarily lag, but just like delay itself. All right, let's see what you're weak to. So I can try and win this shit. Oh my God, this is so much worse. What? Ineffective's not great. Ow, pain. I promise you no sadness, next boss. Yeah, this game can't really do that. God, really? Oh my god. Better watch your 
is rough. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm gonna hold on here. There we go. Game can't possibly keep you from being depressed. God damn. God. Fucking hurt. Eleanor. Damn it. I healed the wrong person. I need somebody to use this on me. Thanks. Wait. I'll use the yes. great kill on my team. to exist other than pain. Why? What are you weak to? In. Oh, I don't have any wind moves. Fuck. Oh, I totally do this one. I'm a fucking idiot. Don't do it. I was going to eat him. Sorry, pups. You're coming with me. Velvet! It's okay. They killed their owner. I deserve all their hate. And then some. Hey. But not now. Understand? Once I get my revenge, you can tear me apart if you like. I promise. Until then, I'll need your help. Oh no! No! Guess the art finally evaporated. The book! It disappeared! What book? I found a copy of the ancient book with every page still intact. It was in Velvet's house. Our <sighs> this book. 
the real one might still be there. We should go back to Velvet's house to search for it. I mean, it probably isn't. But hey, we leveled up. I got Hell's Claw. That sounds dope. Provides an ability to trigger a random skill, which improves elemental damage on normal. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do that. I guarantee you. Second hit combo to activate. Oh, there's a there's a demon. That was one hell of an illusion. I have to admire the skill that went into its construction. Oh, you don't Caster actually. Probably has a tethered Moloch with a unique power on the same level as my Reaper's curse. I can think of one person who would lay such a wicked trap. Still, we may have a new clue to the nature of Enominot. You found Enominot's book, right, Lafiset? Yeah, in Velvet's house. Then let's hurry to Velvet's house. And while we're in the area, we're gonna fight this man's. Will we get our ass kicked by a random zombie? Probably. But maybe not. Maybe we survive. Hey man. Uh oh. I don't believe in you, but let's go. And I got this. Surely it's fine. Oh, I did damage to him. <laughs> I'm alive. Somehow. What are you weak to, sir? Fire. Well, you know, he's losing health, but he's so fucking armored. I'm so slow. Help. Switch out. Give me a boost. Sweet. Thanks. Bye. Creeping curse. Oh, 
Well. Thing hurt. This skill allow you to uh, damage to be reflected when nullifying damage on evil mode or above. Well, we're not on. I we're not on that mode, so I don't see that working out for us. Okay. Um. Get a evil and intense. By the way, uh, I figured I don't usually play on anything other than just like the normal mode. Oh, it's intense. Oh, you mean like literally it is in the, the, the intense part. How did they? How did they mistranslate that? I feel like evil and intense are very different. But either way, yes, no, I just play on like, like normal. <laughs> play on normal, finish up the, the whole thing and then turn it off. And then I pretend that I'm happy until the next one comes out. Oh no, that's a lie, because you're playing a f***ing JRPG, and that shit is always sad. Whoosh. We're about to go back, by the way, and it's going to be like, oh, you've made it back home. Look how horrible and sad everything is. Yep. This is about to be so depressing. Uh, oh, no. Hey, it's all in one piece, actually. Somehow. The plus, There's right? Here. This is reality. Oh. But hey, everything was on fire when we left, you know? That's... At least things are still standing building-wise. What's that? Stop trying to find the plus side? Got it. empty no surprise there artorius is too thorough to overlook something like that if only i'd showed it to you as soon as i found it don't beat yourself up over it we wouldn't have been able to read it without grimoire anyhow it was just a dream all of it check out all these complicated looking books a hand-drawn map nice it's incomplete but Seems quite detailed. It's beautiful. My brother drew it every day. Even when his fever got too strong for him to read a book, he'd stare at that map for hours. Laffy said he he wanted to travel the world. Yes, it was his dream. I never understood what made him want to do something so dangerous. But I'm living his dream now. It's ironic, isn't well, it? Well, probably more his nightmare. Yeah. This was your room, wasn't it? You can knit. I was trying to learn. Nico said she'd teach me how. As oh, I thought that was meat. <laughs> my quiche recipe. We wanted to finish a set of scarves for the winter. Velvet. Forget about it. I don't need to knit anymore. 
Plus, I can't do it with my demon hands. Well, this is depressing. Those are the graves of my sister and her son. He died before he was even born. They're in rough shape. We should lay some flowers. Don't bother. There's no point. A keen insight. Eating one would be cruel enough, but plucking an innocent flower just to offer it as decoration for some memorial. That's not even a sacrifice, just a cruelty devoid of all purpose. Man, when you die, ain't nobody gonna bury your ass. As obtuse as ever. I take it you're the one behind the dream fog? I must say, you did well to break for such resolve. I didn't if skip. If you were a I'd be tempted <laughs> to take you under my wing. Did you come here to flatter me? Indeed. Although I was already in the neighborhood to retrieve this book. I'll be taking that. This book was compiled by my dear friend, who was also Artorius's mentor and predecessor as head of the Exorcists. It contains the hopes and dreams left by a noble soul who gave his life for the world that grieved him. It is not for a tainted demon to touch. Like we need your permission. Ow. <laughs> Look who obeyed me for once. Is that... You didn't! Be patient. You'll know everything before long. What we seek is the realization of a perfect... <sighs> as tranquil and beautiful as a wildflower in bloom. A perfect order? Let's go. There's nothing left for us here. <gasps> yup. That should hurt as much as it should. I genuinely... Yup. <laughs> Feel that pain and understand that she meant that shit. She's like, we're done here. Bye. Nothing left for her here. What's it doing there? Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. Holy shit, Lafayette. Lafay made a copy of the book. He transcribed it all by hand, and then he sold it just to buy me that comb. There was something here for us after all. Oh. <laughs> Fucking out. Muffy. If that's the complete manuscript, we might be able to unravel Inominat's secrets. We'll have to show it to Grimoire. <laughs> Pulling one over on the old man, are you? Never a dull moment with Lady Calamity around. So that's like her grandfather or some shit. It's gotta be. I don't know. I feel like she's too closely related right. to that old man. Time to drop off the pup. Yep. <laughs> JRPGs. We needed a way to continue the plot without having you fight one of the bosses just yet. So here you go. Book. We're going back to Titania. Anime logic, very true. Oh, you're gonna make me go all the way back. Why would you do such a thing to me? Oh. oh. <laughs> that horned monster. Uh -huh. He was with Melchior. There was something different about him. He wasn't of Moloch, though, right? <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a demon. But why would the Abbey be working with a demon? He could be a Therian, maybe. I mean, there was Medissa and Kamalana. No, I don't think so. 
The Abbey keeps their Therians behind barriers and bound to Earth Pulse points. Wait for it. Eisen clearly knows. Walking freely. That's correct. And besides, Orthrus was already here. In any case, now we know Melchior has a mean-looking bodyguard in addition to his illusions. That'll take quite a lot to stop him. Aye. That's a fact. Okay. Boom. How does Melikor keep doing that? Isn't he like he's like a special mage or some shit with like temporal and illusions? to the Abbey. Eleanor hasn't done anything like that. Then how do you explain Melchior and his illusions already waiting for us when we got to a ball? I promised you that I would work together with you until I, I found Maybe it's got a cooldown. I don't know. I'm not up to any tricks. It's far too late for that now. Exactly what a guilty party would say. If anyone's suspicious here, I'd say it's you, Magilu. No tricks. <laughs> I don't even He was know also what a quite is. fast. <sighs> Enough. If Eleanor was leaking information, then Titania would surely be under attack by now. Right. I'm sure the Abbey would love to have those Therians back. But the enemy was in that village waiting in ambush. The Abbey isn't foolish. They figured out by now that we're rounding up the Therians. They'll have left traps for us with each remaining one. It's the obvious move. All right. If that's how you see it, I'll stand down. I mean, that's how it is. I mean... No. <laughs> I'm saying that anything the Abbey tries... I'll be ready for it. Oh, such a brave, determined soul. Oh, for <laughs> fuck you, bitch ass. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Fucking come here, you stupid birds. Damn it. I lost all of my health because I was in that mode the whole time. Oops. I forgot about that. <clears throat> Eleanor, does the Abbey possess an art that can control demons? Not that I've ever heard of. You don't cook? Besides... How important is that? Because I haven't been doing that the entire time I played. I think I did it once when it told me about it. I completely forgot. When this game is a full heal, I'll cook then, I guess. You can auto cook after battles? Oh, then I'm probably doing that? But I don't know. I'll look at it after this. There'd be no need to resurrect Dinominot, would there? Can't argue with that. I mean, a lot of the times I don't even bother because <laughs> I get enough demon. heal off of like arts and How stuff. That? I just was in that mode for longer than I meant to be. And Melchior wasn't using oaths or mana to compel him. No, this was something more like mind control. Mind control. Let's say you know your target's innermost desires. You simply conjure the right illusion. Show them what would push their buttons in just the right way. Ah, if you can create an illusion of something someone really wants, you can control them. Exactly. You can force a powerful oh, burden upon or that. your target's psyche. Either way, I lost health because of it, breaks, that thing. That is. Instead of using arts what to heal myself. when they break? Depends on the target. They might become an empty shell. They might go wild with desire. Eeny, teeny, spiny crow. You sure know a lot about this. Now that you put it that way, why would I know so much about it? 
But if someone is controlling me, making me say these very words, how horrifying! I believe I'll take your words with a grain of salt. <laughs> it's more so just like, I don't know. I just, I've never really, I'm not really worried about it. Oh, yeah, I'm on auto cook after battles. Yeah. It's just not picking any. Something in there said like a hot. One of my specialties from a long Yo. time ago. All right, cool. There you go. I ate food. Oh, right, the expedition. Will you fucking give me what I want, you bitch? I honestly thought it just auto picked off the get go, but it didn't. Fuck. Ow, really? Oh, it does say eight. Here. Yeah, no, I didn't, uh, didn't set it up proper then. Oh, well. Never that much of an issue. Listen, Not like apple gels are that really expensive. She isn't spying on us. I was with her almost every minute, and when I wasn't, Velvet was watching her. And she's a woman who keeps her promises. She wouldn't lie to... Luffy said. We understand, Luffy said. It's Eleanor. If she were lying to herself to somehow keep spying on us, the guilt would fill her with malevolence. I see. You're right. The fact that I haven't turned into a dragon proves that. Thank you. Both of you. I didn't think uh -huh. you were giving them information intentionally. But there are illusionists like Melchior out there. That means we can't rule out someone recording your thoughts in secret. I don't think we need to worry about that either. Not with you and Luffy said always. Shut there. up and become a dragon. <sighs> So far, I like him, so I would prefer he didn't. to testify to my innocence. That could be difficult. What? Well, okay. Why don't you start off by telling us all about the time you sold us out to Teresa back in Hellebees? Oh, why bring up that old yam? You're a very vindictive man, do you know that? You're just figuring that out? <laughs> well, there's your proof, at least. You wouldn't make much of a spy. <laughs> she really Sure, would. as soon as I find out what that word what means... Pretty sure we just have to go back to um Anya, right? First spell ever used in the first Tales of game. Oh. Sadly, I don't see him using Welcome it. Back. Yeah, we're bringing these two back to Titania. Aww. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking hunks of armor, I can deal with. But dogs on my ship? You're not a dog person. I was uh, bit by one when I was a kid. Oh, calm then down. You've got nothing be... to worry about. If they're biting anyone on this ship, it'll be me. Uh, are you okay, Velvet? Oh, sure. Oh. They're just dogs. No, I mean, in general. <sighs> Fine, they can come aboard. I'll take us back to Titania. Cool. Oh. 
We have to take good care of Orthy and Russ. That's on you. They won't let me near. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? You only killed their master. Don't worry. I'll take responsibility. You mustn't. They're quite vicious, you know. I just asked them if they wanted to be friends, and they suddenly bit me. I'm sure you said something to irritate them, like, I'll make you my minions. You had it coming. She, she knows. Probably. But you have Therians to find, Lafayette. You won't be able to look after them all the time. I suppose. What should I do? You could Jesus, thank you for the hydropotic and stretch. Which little three. Also, you won. Congrats. Even if they get a little rowdy, Medissa will be around to keep them safe. That's a good idea. I'll go ask them. Thanks. She knows. I can't be killing off Therians. Besides, they remind me of Nico. Velvet. You want a pet dog, Luffy said? You should go to the Abbey then. Why the Abbey? Because the place is full of the shepherd's lap dogs. <laughs> get it? Lap dogs. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> That was the most understandable laugh. Oh good, sadness time? I devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing. <laughs> Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time, so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? <laughs> but, I don't care that he got scared. I just wanted him to live. That's why I... Have to. Velvet! I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have vengeance. Velvet! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I can't wait to eat you. Done. The art is attuned to you. Oh, good. What is the art? Here. This time I'll make sure to finish what I set out to do. I've got to say, I didn't think you had it in you, Oscar. I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Lord Artorius! Go back outside, Teresa. We'll see you when we're done. Are the rumors true? Are you using that experimental art on Oscar? It is true. It's already been used. I was under the impression it was still incomplete, sir. Yep. There's still a potentially fatal weakness for its channeler. We've taken the theory as far as it will go. The next step is to learn its control and actual practice. Don't tell me you intend to test it against that Therian. Please, let me do it. I should be the one, not him. You are not strong enough. Th then at least let me back him up. So you can take the enemy out before Oscar uses the art? A noble plan, but I'm afraid it'd mess everything up.
<laughs> it was my idea to volunteer, sister. I failed at Titania. Wave that him for getting glared at. to be stolen from Palamedes. I need to atone for my mistakes. Then let me come with you. I have different orders for you. Teresa Linares, you are hereby relieved of your duties as an exorcist and are to return your monarch. Relieved of duty? Why? For our plans to be realized, we require an especially strong monarch. We've analyzed your Moloch's dormant abilities, and he is of considerable power, on the same level as the young Moloch who betrayed us for the enemy. Simply put, you just don't got what it takes to handle him, sweetheart. When this is all over, I'd love to have some of your homemade cooking again, sister. I could go for that quiche you used to make. How can you talk of that right now? Her hair is so good, it is. Lord Artorius. I know what you're going to ask. Yes, Oscar, when you fulfill your mission, I will make Teresa an exorcist again. Oscar. Are you doing this for... Don't worry about me. I'd go to the ends of the earth and back for a plate of your delicious quiche. No. Oscar, don't go! Ooh, Oscar. walking to his death. It's okay, he'll be fine. I'll... Kill him. Sword. What should I do? If I don't do something, he'll... Good! I'm glad he's giving off a death flag. Fuck him. What's this? I'm... receptive? Hey, Vic! To that art? And to you? Hey, you doing, Vic? I was watching your stream for a bit. I was lurking in a bunch of people's streams recently. While doing my uh, usual long ass stream. Where am I? Take it easy, Velvet. You've been out for three days. That's too long. Then that's three days wasted. <laughs> What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing Appreciated the care package. I'm glad. As for the dogs, Kamawana's taking a real shine to them. All right, then. Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. I am taking it easy. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought, since you hadn't either... Eat demons all the time. Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malakim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. How long have if you been here? Eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. <laughs> all right. If you're sure. If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. Huh. Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Oh, no. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows you eat when you have the chance. 
Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true. Food will fill an empty stomach. Fine velvet chase equality with Doom Guy. Empty heart, I wonder. <laughs> Too angry to die, literally. She also, like, eats demons. I feel like that would fill her up, so I feel like she's fine in that sense. Time for some grub, Lafayette. What are you hungry for? Hmm. I'll have some stuffed giant squid. Or prison crab dumplings. Or sea snake bowl. It's your first meal in three days, right? Better stick with something mild or you'll be sorry. How about a risotto or a vegetable rice soup? That could be nice. I could go for some borscht or shark food. Another thing she has in common with Doom Guy. I was going to uh, say, probably. A jelly fruit cup, a giant parfait, and a triple berry cake. Zip it, Moggy Lou. Oh, well. I've only been going for like two hours. Just thinking about it. I think I'd like some rice porridge with a pickled plum and baby sardines on top. I'm glad I had some food because otherwise I'd be very hungry right now. In that case, you should have some apple boo. Apple boo? What on earth is that? It's just grated apples. But when my brother wasn't feeling well, I often fed it to him. I think I'd like to try some. If you insist, I'll make some for you. At least it's something I can make without needing to taste it. Okay, I insist. Okay. If you're already making some, I'd like... No. Zip it, Mogilu. <laughs> Dude, he gets so abused, and it's so funny every time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's save it. I think we saved it before we left, but I'll save it again to be sure here. What are we looking at? One cannot save too often in a JRPG. Okay. So I save on almost every save station, and it's a good idea. I found one, but it's really, really far, way up in the northeast. Hmm. If it's that far out, it has to be an Engand. Engand is a collection of small islands. There's a comparatively bigger one called Lionel Island, but that's the exception. Yeah. I think the Earth Pulse. I do it less because I feel like people would get mad at me if I saved it every single save station. Ghost ships, you know. Ghost ships? Yep. Legend has it they snatch up wrongdoers who bear lingering regrets and whisk them away to that eternal voyage. That doesn't sound promising. That sounds great. What do you mean? Converge and me first. Waters. So a lot of shipwrecks from distant seas end up there as their final resting place. Uh huh. Ah, so that's where the stories of ghost ships come from. Boo, you guys have no imagination. I'd rather they stay imaginary myself. We should still be careful. We'll be fine. Ghost ship, exorcist, whatever comes along. We'll be the ones to administer their last rites. off to bed but before i go you know what one last tip for me is it is it to fix my capture card because it just cut out my audio again all right what's the tip don't worry your ears are not broken also i hope you have a good night as well i'm waiting i'm i'm simultaneously waiting and also like all right one last tip and i the niche never comes <laughs> That's also really funny. If you want to do that, that's also funny. Ugh. One is strategy menu adjustment. Oh, I should probably change how they fight too. Yeah, that's an important thing. I, I don't know. It's working. It's only on normal and it's working so far. So if it's nothing too crazy, I might. Okay. Boop, boop. Okay. <laughs> that was concerning. All right. Try something.
Oh. Oh. Our fighting game. Okay, absolutely I'll do that. Hang on. Okay, well, I never... I'm never not using Velvet. But I will do that when I can. <laughs> it's a little difficult for me to change shit when they're not here. But I will remember that. <laughs> Later. <laughs> oh my god. But that is good to know. I didn't know they would start like... So where is it here? It's a... Hold nothing back? Okay, okay. Okay, I'll remember. Rokuro and Velvets. Can I change? Do I change Eisen's or well? Or no, I shouldn't touch that one. Because I don't think Eisen uses a lot of healing spells or anything. So that one should be fine. The other four spellcasters with healing magic slowly function. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'll change Rokuro, and I guess if Aizen pisses me off and I want him to actually fight, then I could do that. Hmm. Well. Yep, they're not, not here. They were here when I was outside. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. Just What's the other tip? Therian to go. Said two, when I escaped, technically. Ceres told me that Artorias could still be killed. That means oh, she must have known I was mashing buttons earlier. Don't that know me take that into account. How Therians work. But why did she betray Artorius? Why did she give me her strength? I know that try as you might, some fires can never fully be extinguished. Their type is also a weakness. So yeah. To feed yourself to me. That's... Tell me, why did you do it, sis? Oh, what am I saying? Ceres was a Moloch. Just a Moloch. Just focus on what has to be done. Once the Therians are all together, I can end this. That's all that matters. That's all I need to think about. How many do we have now? Technically, the dogs are one. We have the, the griffin, the hawk named griffin. Uh, we have Kamoana, Velvet, and Medusa. Medusa? Definitely not Medusa. So that's what, five? We need three more, I think, still. Medicine. <gasps> Fair. If you hit all their types and their elemental weaknesses, you remove weaknesses until they recover from me. It's done. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. A lot more into this, and I'm just going to be mashing buttons, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, but thank you for the tips. Or remove resistances, sorry. No, 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 you're good. What am I doing? Okay, so I just... Oh, <gasps> come on! It's fine! No, it's not. You Medissa, have to do it that's right. what... If you keep telling me what to do, I'll hate you. Fine, hate me then. So long as you do what I say. Fine. Uh, I love you, Medissa, and you don't even care. Uh, what's going on here? What? Eleanor, <laughs> what? Medissa's being what? mean. She keeps telling me to dry my hair after my bath, but I don't wanna. What? Moana, so Moana sounds like a 50-year-old chain smoker trying to sound like a child. Uh, it's just a, a VA that has, like, vocal fry. And it kind of fits, considering that she's, like, scream crying when you meet her for the first time, which she probably was doing before you meet her. So her voice is, like, ripped to shit. So it makes sense that she sounds that way. I think it's adorable and also really painful. <laughs> All you're arguing about? This is important. Just because she's a Therian doesn't mean she can't catch a cold. But I won't! I won't catch a cold! I swear! I don't want to take Mom's yucky, awful medicine, so I'm not gonna get- Why they renamed her, I don't understand. If you insist oh. on being so stubborn, we can- Wait, was she called just Moana before? 
if she was called just Moana before, they probably renamed her for really random reasons. I don't think the show, Mo the movie Moana wasn't out during this, right? It was like after this. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because Kamoana, Kamoana is way harder to say. I don't know. I really, I don't know. Aphiset does have that extra I in his name. Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, English names from Japanese names are sometimes really just, they're just like, ah, who cares? I almost skipped this. Do this the hard way. There's no need for everyone to get so worked up. Her hair's pretty much dry already, right? Yeah, what she said. Oh. <sighs> I'm spoiling her, aren't I? Seriously. Look, we don't even know what would happen if Etherian catches a cold, let alone how to treat it. That's true. But look, I get it. I know you feel responsible for her. You mean what happened to her mother? Yeah. Luffy said told me about it. My, my, look who's a little tattletale. I'm sorry, but I thought Medusa. She's so. Just... I can't focus when Medusa's on screen. She's so attractive. Enomenant name is. Okay, I'm okay. How can I say Enomenant, but I can't pronounce the other? Kanoushi? Kanon. Kanonushi? Kanonushi? Okay, and Nomenon, at least I've heard multiple times so far. I'd need them to actually pronounce that one for me to even slightly understand that. Kanonushi. Okay. Forgive me. I am stupid <laughs> and dyslexic, but mostly just stupid. In case. It's fine, I suppose. I should have told her myself. Again, well, at least I understand everything. Just translations. Now. It's all too tragic for words. Yes. And the knowledge would not be something that a young child could possibly bear. I'm not planning on telling her. That's probably your only option. But do you really think you can keep lying to her forever? Huh? I have to. For her own sake. For your own for sake, her, I... huh? All right. I'll go with you on this. You two are going through an awful lot of trouble for a selfish kid. All kids are selfish. They're selfish. But that's what their families and their mothers should be there for. Don't you have any memories like that yourself? Sorry, but I'd rather just keep them to myself. Pish and piffle. Everybody and what? their issues, am I right? Hey. Hey, everybody's here. I should do the thing that I was going... Nothing back. Twenty five. I put this for the I have not, honestly, I've not even looked at the. You decide is best. Oh. I don't bother changing any of Velvet's stuff because I'm just using Velvet as the main character anyway. Oh, it saddens me that it says one player. I'm like, God damn it, I want to play this game with other people. Fuck. <sighs> anyway. All right, that might make this a little better then because there were so many moments where Roker would just stand still. And if that fixes that, then we're, then we're perfectly set. Okay, let's go. What are we doing? Right. Okay. Wait. That's exactly what it fixes. Hell yeah. No. Oh, this is quite the distance. I like that it shows you like stopping off at the docks. To, like get like supplies and materials and stuff before like going off in the next like journey. We're coming up on Lionel Island. That's kind of cool. 
Thanks so much for the ghost ships. Should we expect another welcome party waiting for us again? No. I had the Blood Wings spread a rumor that we were raiding an Abbey compound far, far from here. As far as plans go, that's better than nothing. <laughs> All this cloak and dagger. Give me a good old frontal assault any day. First mate, sir. There's a ship drifting ahead of us. A ghost ship? It's an Abbey ship. They're flagged. Oh, damn. It's a distress signal. Well, da leave them alone? Let's approach. Leave them alone? Are you actually going to help an enemy ship? A ship signaling distress has neither allies nor enemies. That's a code all seafarers abide by. It's an obvious trap. Not even pirates would use a distress signal for a surprise attack. Of course, after we rescue a ship, we still strip them of everything they've got. Anyway, if it's a trap, <laughs> we'll kill everyone on board. Simple. We could just avoid them? Waste of time if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, we could just leave them be. Sure. Um, you guys good? Is this the Corsair Scourge? Benwick, do we still have any Salatoma left? Yes, sir. If this is their full crew, we should have enough on board to treat them. Now that you mention it, don't Abbey ships usually have a bigger crew? These were all who were aboard when I hijacked the ship and made them set sail. Teresa! I knew I was being reckless, but I never expected we'd run afoul of the Corsair Scourge. Are we saving her right now? I'm glad we did, since it brought me to you. Oh, is she going to do something stupid? You seriously plan to fight in that condition? No, no. I know you've won this one. Use me as you will. Oh. Use you? Don't bother asking. It's a trap. Lionel Island is where you'll find Dees. Hatharian. Dees what? My brother Oscar is guarding over it. We can handle him just fine. You should know that Oscar's acquired a powerful new art. It's formula developed by Lord Melchior. You're giving him that mustache with the, the best shit I've ever made. The art power far beyond its normal limits. The effect is incredible. Normal arts don't even compare. Even were you to win, you wouldn't come away unscathed. Why are you telling us this? The art is still untested and imperfect. There's no guarantee its caster will survive the effects. I don't want anything to happen to Oscar. If I'm your hostage, Oscar won't move against you. This will afford you a window to snatch the Therian and make your escape. Or you're willing to betray the Abbey? They fired me anyway, who cares? There's nothing in this world that could ever replace Oscar. Hmm. God, you used the sibling? Oh, no. I know you can't the same saying, it. Martha. So don't give me your medicine. I'll place my life in your hands. Just save Oscar. Lady Teresa! <sighs> If true, this information will be of use to us. Her fucking medicine. For now, God let's bring her aboard and give her the medicine. <laughs> give her the medicine. Fucking give the other ones the medicine too. Worry about the shit when we get a fucking the port. So, you're going to believe her story? Eh, for now. An art that boosts a Moloch's power far beyond its normal limits. Sounds like we might be in for a real fight. <laughs> like outside. She said that Melchior developed it, too. Maybe this explains why he was so intent on acquiring that Siegfried relic. If this is all true, a frontal assault might not be the best idea. Says why you. do you think Teresa is willing to go so far to protect Oscar? Oscar is the Dibling. second son of the Dragonia family. 
aristocrats with ancestral ties to the Asgard royal lineage. From what I understand, he was Asgard? happy in the hopes of strengthening his family's ties to the group. For the good of the bloodline. Happens all the time. Teresa followed him to the Abbey, where she's been his constant savior, even if she's kept it from him. So she's another noble too. Could have had an easy life if she just kept in her place. No, Teresa was conceived, uh, outside of formal matrimony. Oh! And her mother was not of what you call high standing. She's that lordly over it other people? More often than you might think. You're that lordly over other died. people? And my father's wife never cared for me. So I merely served the Dragonia family as a maid. Those were dark, lonely times for me. But Oscar... Oscar was the only one who called me his sister. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this right here just because I didn't want to like this character. And I still kind of don't. But she has good reasoning and I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt for now. If this bitch betrays us... Off with her head. But, but, right now, she's okay. And embraced me as family. Does a sister need any other reason to want to save her brother? God damn. So you're back on your feet. He forced you to like him. My nah. sincere thanks for the medicine. You can still hate her. I can't use you as a hostage if you're dead. Where's the Therian? Ahead through the Baird Marsh are the ruins of an ancient okay. kingdom. There you'll find the Earth Pulse Point, along with Oscar. I don't think we're oh, going to be able to save him. What happened to number one? Lord Artorius took number one away from me. As it stands, I'm without the powers of an exorcist. And the standing of an exorcist. Whether I live or die is for you people to decide. Once Oscar is safe, you can do whatever you like to me. They gotta take that mustache off, Megalou. We'll do as you wish. All of it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, we will. But also, fuck. Alright, yeah. Just keeping the glasses, it keeps her sane. Well, the rosy cheek. What? You've given me everything except for the Scout fucking ship. thing I want. Hate you. I know you know this, Fee, but don't let your guard down for one second. Something was going to be said and I skipped it. I apologize. <laughs> Didn't know that that would be a thing. Oh, I don't have enough to open that. You know, I should buy things. Hell. Uh, okay. Enhance. What can we enhance? Okay, bye. Enjoy your game. Bye. Get that good rest. Sleep well. Thanks for coming in. And thanks for uh, chatting and vibing. I appreciate it. Okay. I can't use the board until we get up here. Damn it. Teresa, it's been a while. We haven't seen Knife each other reels, since yes. the throne. But that doesn't seem like so long ago to me. Not when I keep hearing so much about you. Eleanor Hume, the traitor. Okay, what well. What the Corsair Scourge? Nothing to worry about. I've had my dose of Salatoma. Was it as bad as you remembered it? Brings you back to when you were an initiate, doesn't it? Why did you betray us, Eleanor? When the Abbey made you a patrolling inspector, they placed great responsibility upon you. Oscar should have been the one to take on that role. 
He had already been selected for it. But you wanted it so very badly, and that sweet, naive man that he is, he let you take it. I had no idea. Oscar had already been chosen? Yes, and after he passed on it, he was stationed on that dangerous island where he sustained that awful wound. And now, you accompany the monster that nearly killed him. I feel I have a right to some answers. My desire to save humanity has not changed. I have simply found a path different from the Abbey's. I don't find that answer acceptable. I didn't think that you would. I know very well that you offer no compromises when it comes to Oscar. You're right. I don't. Be sure to inform your new friends of that fact. In order for me to protect Oscar, I'm going to need you all to trust me. That's all I have to say to you. <laughs> I understand. Uh, trust. Really? I, I don't think that's going to at all happen, but what do you? What you guys doing? Yeah, I don't care. All right. Welcome to the domain of the old kingdom. I, okay. Are you kidding me? That one thing was for the thing behind me? I'm upset. Oh god, I have to jump across the thing, I forgot. <sighs> Pain, terrible. All right, cool. So much base, so little space. We have a lot of flowers and stuff. Oh, good. Green. That's a new one. There it is. Hmm. Oh, right. <clears throat> like, how am I going to do this? Immediately breaks rock. Never mind. <clears throat> My bad. What does green turn into? Green I should probably fight at least one of these just to get like a sense of the level. Fight the spooky. Are we ready for this? Forty-four, eh? I was like, is Eleanor on the ground? Yeah, she died instantaneously, apparently. Whoops. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Right. I don't need to worry about those. I... Those count on this side? That's unfortunate. Okay. Well. Turn them both on. Obviously off, I guess.
Yes, yes, you creak when you walk toward me. I know, very intimidating. Honestly, it sounds like he's snapping whenever he walks toward you. The power number two displayed at the throne. Hard to believe he had that hidden in him. Lord Melchior said that number one was full of untapped potential as well. If I have the talent to use it. Uh, Teresa, my lady, you seem angry. Me? At what? At me, for running away and joining Velvet. Oh, that? I was careless. An enemy stole a tool of mine. I'm merely frustrated at my own incompetence. A tool? I don't care what happens to me now. Not as long as I can save Oscar. I'm the one who hurt your precious brother. And you're asking for my help now? Yes, you hurt him. You scarred his face and his honor and his heart. Still holding a grudge? All of which he deserved. Well, at least you won't be able to kill me in my sleep. With no Malachim, I'm an ordinary woman. How could I threaten the Lord of Calamity? I'm painfully aware of my own weakness. Good. Try to keep out of the way, then. Lady Teresa, Velvet isn't so different from you. She had a little brother, she... I know all about the Lord of Calamity, but none of that matters to me. As powerless as I am now, this is the only path for me. It's the only way I can save Oscar. She's going to sacrifice herself to save Oscar, isn't she? Okay. Uh. Wouldn't happen to be a green. Uh -huh. No, I'll be fine with that. Pretty fair. Actually, not a bad thing. Be worse. We'd lose both of them. Up. What up? Up. Oh, it actually has me jump there. That's Really, really annoying. Why waste my time like that? Why give me the option if you're not going to let me continue? That bronze chest gave me $5,600. I'll take it. Malachim are just tools. What are you brooding over? I know. Velvet, Eleanor, or Teresa. You're not sure whose little brother you want to be, eh? In that case, I assure you... <laughs> Her I'm face the is just like... The cruelest, most devious. That's not what's on my mind. There's something I need to say to Lady Teresa. Something you wish to say? Then speak, number two. That's just it. I'm not number two. I'm... I'm Lafayette. Lafayette? It's the name Velvet gave me. It's very important to me. Something can be important to you? Yes. I have feelings. You see, Malachim are not tools. Very well. I shall call you Lafayette from now on. 
Thank you, Lady Teresa. You're kinder than you look, my dear Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. You misunderstand. With so much at stake, I don't want to rock the boat. Mm. Velvet, sure. tell me what you know about Teresa and Oscar. I want a clearer picture of what they can do. All right. Teresa and Oscar are... I can give you the lowdown on everything, Abby. Great. Abby, Teresa and Oscar are the best of the best, even among the Praetors. Some call them the consoles. There are only around a hundred Praetors in the world, so we're talking very elite. Anyone called a consul is going to be adept at both fighting and leadership. They are key figures entrusted with responsibility for major cities and institutions. The fighting part is all we have to worry about. Are they better than you, Eleanor? Yes. I was a Primus, which is a full rank below them. I could never overcome Teresa's arts or Oscar's swordsmanship in our practice battles. When they were still trainees, they worked together to wipe out dozens of demons in a single night! After that, Lord Melchior kept a close eye on them. Appreciated. I'll be on my guard. Together, they sound like a real threat. Thankfully, we're only after Oscar alone. But Oscar has mastered a new art developed by Lord Melchior. You can count on it being a nasty one. You really do know a lot about this stuff. It's a little suspicious. You... you think so? Well, I was at the Abbey, so... Why don't you call him Lord Oscar? That's what's bothering you? It's because we're both so popular with the ladies. I consider him a rival. I fucking hate you. Like, there is no redeemable factor of Bienfu. None. I will happily say that forever. Is there really none here? Are you fucking kidding me? You want me to go all the way the fuck back because it... Okay. Wait, but I can't. Yeah, if I turn that off, I can't go back. Wait, hang on. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Um... I, I can't I can't go through the area they want me to go through if I turn them. I don't okay I'll do it he's like look if I turn this off Oh, it's over there. I thought it was on this side. Never mind. I thought it was blocking like right here. Dude, I have an eidetic memory. Let's go. You know, if you define an eidetic memory as full of holes, then yeah. I get lost if it's not on Google Maps. I'm okay with like real world directions. I can't remember like basic shit. Oh. Hopefully the um thing is over here. A hoverboard thing.
and what's on this end. Oink. 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 Oh, a cat's chair. Aviator sunglasses? I'm the coolest bull. I can't go back. He looks so good. Honestly, yeah. Like, he's still Wesker, but it's a, it's like if Wesker was British, you know? Same thing. Ten years older. Yep. Oh, I combined those two things squirming across my screen. I thought they were one big monster. Oh, shit. That's cool. Kind of looks like. Why does it kind of look like Moana? She just like pulls back and punches it across oh, the tree. It's a beetle. Yeah, uh, a Lionel Giant Thunder Stag Beetle, to be exact. Why do they always have such awkward names? I. I think it's a cool name. <laughs> Is this all it takes for her to be I've a never good been person? Able to figure out why boys are so drawn to these things. Huh? What's the matter? Didn't you want to see it? Uh, yeah. Thanks. When he was little, Oscar was always running around the woods collecting bugs. He'd get so into it, it was never long before he'd trip and hurt himself. Did you grab bugs for him? Yes, I thought they were gross. But I was much taller than him, and I had the reach. Once, he gave me a whole pile of cicada shells as his way of thanking me. I just screamed. Well, I'm well, thank sure you. he just wanted you to know how he felt. You ignore her in the first half, she's probably a good person. Yeah. I can relate to that. Rather unusual for a Moloch like you to contemplate such things. Oh, is it? Well, I try to. It's just really hard sometimes. It's hard for people, too. Sometimes it feels insurmountable. And yet we can't give up. Sometimes you just have to say what you believe in your heart, even if you're not good at saying it. What I believe. V, hurry up already!
Oh god. What were you two talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Real just great idea. Just fully a lot of velvet. Really gonna keep the train going on. Giving a fuck, I suppose. Oh, it's gonna get me. Ah. I'm glad everything in this area is super slow. I don't know why it's super slow, but it's super slow. Okay with it. Like, it's literally like a leisurely... Why can't I pick this up? Okay. I guess never mind. Wait. Oh, that's annoying. It seems like it's just meant for, like, a story, like, leisurely walk. But at the same time, why not just make it a leisurely walk? You know? Like, why, why give any enemies at all? Turn that off. Can't wait to go through and be like, oh, that's not it. Stag beetle, did you? Yeah, Lady Teresa caught it for me. Ooh, those pincers are sharp. Eisen, take a look at this fine specimen of a stag. Wait, I believe that might be a two-horned rhinoceros beetle. Listen, you two. If you're gonna get in another fight over this, I'll just say it's a new type of drone beetle. You wouldn't. <laughs> you, you wouldn't really dare. Figured us out, huh? <laughs> Eleanor, you didn't make him say that just now, did you? I did not. I've made a pact with him as a vessel, but he isn't tethered to me. The Moloch, acting so human. As I there... used to think that way. Human? I was in free will just like he was. <laughs> it was inconceivable. But meeting Laffy said and Eisen taught me the truth. They laugh in joyful times and cry in sad times. Their stomachs even growl too. Their stomachs growl? Now I That's take a it as thing? a matter of course that not only Malachim, but demons and Therians too, have their own thoughts and feelings. I thought you hated demons. I certainly still do, but now I feel something besides just hate. Malachim with free will? Demons and Therians as well? You must have sensed that in Laffy said, or you wouldn't have caught that beetle for him. When you saw his beaming face, it must have reminded you of when Oscar was a young boy. Am I correct? This conversation's over. Okay, but the thinking part of it's not, so that's a plus, right? Teresa, be honest. Isn't there something wrong with the Abbey using a dangerous experimental art out in the field? Oscar's the one who decided to go through with it. Don't presume to know anything about who he is. Okay. I won't. Wow, I'm glad I did that. Otherwise, I'd have to go back through that little loading screen. Would have been annoying. Let me through. Don't do it. Hey. Okay. Add your cooperating. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I see where the fucking thing is. Oh. That annoying. Look how far away it is, Chad. That arc could be fatal. I can't allow Oscar to try it. Lady Teresa, is something the matter? It's nothing. I'm fine. But you looked like you were in pain. Oh. I was just thinking a bit. You didn't have time to rest after recovering from the Corsair's scourge. You're awfully hard on yourself, you know. And even harder on others, am I? Th that's not what I meant. It doesn't matter. I'm well aware that I'm stone cold. I put but you really say, not. Malik never knows his vessel's heart. I said nothing all those times you snuck off to the library, did I? You knew about that? Of course I knew. But I was just letting you roam free like a master might let her little pup. Number one didn't wander about like you did. What makes you different? I'm sorry. Well, boys will be boys, I guess. But I was planning on punishing you if that behavior continued. Punish me how? You don't want to know. 
It might wreck your good cheer. Lady Teresa. <laughs> oh, she's a sadist. Do you really think she'll work with us? I don't think she's lying to us. But I don't think she's being entirely truthful either. She's keeping something Look, under her upper sleeve. I know sleeve. I probably don't have to say this, but... You don't. I won't let my guard down. If I see anything funny, she's dead. And since she has no Moloch, it'll be quick. Well... Here's hoping, but also, we don't know. All right, time to go beat up a boss. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Oh no, it's one of these. Cringe. Okay. Um. That's still doable. And I suck. He's like running toward me right now, like arms wide open. With arms wide open. Grabbing all of these because. Under the need to be extremely wary. Millionaire. Oh no. Week two. Air. Station Fiend and Dragon. D's nuts, we did not. Fifty two, huh? Yeah. Not dying. What the? What was that? Bump. 
All right, we're halfway there. Holy fuck, what just happened? <laughs> Is this suddenly so brutal? What the fuck happened? Okay. Damn it. Oh, this is going well.
Oh my god. Ow. Okay. I live. Ow. That shit was mean. It was like fine. It was just kind of like tanky. And then all of a sudden it was just like, yeah, everything dies. We need to level up. What level are we? Yeah, we need to kill start killing some shit. We will need to be extremely wary. There we go. Oh, yeah. Decent amount. <laughs> and I got her to upgrade, so that's fun. Jesus with a Hydro Pouch, I can stretch. I shall do all three. Thank you very much. Also, congrats on the trick or treat. Oh, that's what that number is. It's how many are fucking left. Right. I hit a point where I'm like under level, then I should like fight enemies to level up, and I'm not going to. That is just going to be really bad. That's just what's going to happen. Save. Last time we saved was on Prison Island, so. Okay. In a lurk slash sleep. Okay. Bye, Jesus. Enjoy your rest. Thanks for taking it out as long as you could, but definitely get that rest. Teresa, let's review our plan before we go in. All right. We'll tell Oscar that we'll release you if he gives up his weapons and Malachine. We'll tie him up, collect the Therian, and then head for the docks. Once we're aboard our ship and ready to sail, we'll release you. You'll be free to do whatever you want. Very well. But I want you to promise me one thing. Promise me you won't hurt Oscar. That depends on him. I'll defend myself if I have to. <sighs> um, Velvet... Please, do it for me, too. If you want to save Oscar, you need to make him listen. Put your own life on the line. You're his sister. Do whatever you have to to protect him. I will. Even if it means my death. Oh, fuck. Well, surely nothing negative will come from this. All right, cool. Now we have a shortcut back. Peace out. Oh, you are joking. Those are all the way back there, aren't they? They sure are. 
Okay. That's somewhat doable. We have the thing now, so. All right, we need blue and orange. Actually, I don't know if there's an easier way this way. So unnecessary, okay. There might be one like over here. Might be, we don't really know. Well, he's mad. Not gonna do anything, but he's mad. It's not looking good for our hero, folks. Um, well. At least we got a couple gold chests and a bunch of souls out of this. Military hike. Um. Thirteen. You master the shit. Sure. Sure. All right. Oh, fucking the ship's back. How long has that been a thing? There is no shot. I kill him out. Give me the fucking accessory, man. Right, I don't think that changed much. That's... Nice, okay, good. Done here. Let's go. While I'm over here, grab this thing. Which is a quartz boots.
We're almost at the Earth Pulse point. You all know the plan, right? I'm using you as a hostage to keep Oscar from doing anything stupid. And don't you try anything funny either. Well, that's fair to say. All right, here we go. Hey, Oscar, is there a save point nearby? Valkyrie? Oh. Oh, percentage chance to not lose souls. It's pretty good, though. The highest. All right, buddy. The like holy paladin I and the knew demon. You'd come, Velvet. Sister. Yeah. As plain as day. Here I am. Now put down your sword and let go of my fairy. If you don't, I'll kill her. You coward. I'm sorry to do this, Oscar. I'm searching for the truth behind the Abbey's talk of so-called reason. And your idea of reason is to threaten my dear sister's life? <laughs> I'm sorry, Oscar. I've become nothing but a burden. Teresa, no. It's not like that. All right. I'll put down my arms. <clears throat> Teresa, get back! There. Forgive me, Oscar. This is the only way I can protect you. We What's your plan? Take him and get out of here. I can't do that. It will reflect poorly upon him. Lady Teresa? Have you forgotten? You're <sighs> just a powerless human. You're right. I am a weak, worthless human. But he has shown me the light, and it shines. My body is receptive to Inominat's power. Uh oh. And with it, I can protect everything I care about. Whoa! She turned into a Therian? No, she fused with it. I'll kill you all. Anything to protect Oscar. <clears throat> I'll be honest, chat. I'm gonna be real honest. She's very redeemable right now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or am I? Merging with a fairy. Do you realize what you're doing, Teresa? <laughs> a trivial sacrifice. You broke me. Here's your justice. Providing order. <laughs> What level is she? 40? We are really good. Oh, Oscar! Oscar! Is she weak too? Normal hits. Oh, okay. Bonk. Teresa, stop this already. Please. 
There's no turning back. Not with so much at stake. His future depends on this. Taste the pain you inflicted on him! This is your punishment! Holy shit, she's still alive. Well, fuck. That's fair. I lived somewhat for like a bit and then I died. <laughs> She's quite hard hitting. Oh. Yeah, no, we win for sure. I can't lose. Not here. Look, Lady Teresa. Stand down, or I'll devour you piece by piece. <laughs> it's okay, sister. You've done enough. No, don't look at me. I'm so hideous. When I was growing up, the only one my mother and father ever paid any attention to was my older brother, the heir. Uh oh. But you're gonna get sad backstory. Teresa, you noticed me when they didn't. You looked after me, supported me, smiled for me. I could never thank you enough, my sister. Where's your hand? Did you lose your hand in this transformation? That's unfortunate. Now, keep watching over me, Teresa. As long as you're looking after me, I can vanquish even the Lord of Demons. <sighs> okay. Fine. This is what you want to do? Take All right. A good look. This is armatization. Oh shit. I'm concerned. Stop chasing me. I have one health. One hell of an art. What are you weak to? Nothing. 
failed Oscar? Oh, that's... That's kind of unfortunate for him. His, his title, or his thing is like a character in the thing is just failed Oscar? Fucking annoying. Holy shit. Well, that's really unfortunate. This might be death. No, I can't die here. Luckily, you won't. We have life bottles. You have so much defense. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, he is really weak to la uh, wind. Damn you, you bitch! This guy is annoying to fucking fight. Like, Literally 
So annoying. Fuck you. You might not fall that easily, but honestly, dude, fucking deserve to lose. So shut up and go. Just it's shut up. No, it hasn't. You people hurt my sister. We saved your sister. You're gonna fucking die. Damn it! It's turning into a dragon. Velvet, quick! Devour that thing! Stop! He's still. This pair of earrings for my birthday. Well, they're family heirlooms that were supposed to go to his fiance, but he didn't know that at the time. I told him he should give them to the woman he cares most about in the world, and you know what he did? Oh no! He smiled at me and said I was that woman. So sweet, so innocent, and you took him away. You killed my Oscar! How could you? How could you? How could you? No! Don't do it! Oscar, you're strong. You're so strong. Wow, this went horribly. Teresa, Oscar. <sighs> and we didn't even get the Therian we came for. He... Oscar came at him first. I had to. It was for Luffy. For my little... Well, we leveled up a little bit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, there were so many. Okay, uh, we got Heaven's Wrath and Grounding Strike. Cool. Hey, fucking what? He learns Resurrection? 
Okay, stuff goes up to level nine now. Why does he learn resurrection? Yeah. They're dead. No, not just dead. I killed them. Killed a lot of people. The same as Artorias. I killed her brother before her very eyes. It's not the same. It is the same! And I didn't have any choice! It was the only way to avenge you! It was all for you! I did it for you! There's nowhere left to run. Nowhere for you or for me. You all right? I ate too much. That's all. They... they were close. They supported each other ever since they were children. I just did to them what they were going to do to us. And who will killing them save? The soul of my murdered brother. <gasps> oh. Whatever the case, we messed up the Therian part of the plan. They're probably making a new one as we speak. There's no time to waste. Let's go back to the port and start our search. Yeah. Ain't the title bloody boot? Had to do it. All of it. Velvet. Oh, <laughs> she's she's having a time right now, kid. Strike and what? Oh look, depression. <laughs> Sorry. At least the music's nice. Also, hey, Crossman. How many hours since you left? Uh, three? One on four, I think. strike with good is this one to shadow flow Okay.
26, huh? That's a lot. We'll get rid of Rising Falcon. We'll path. See how that goes. Clock says six. I'll be honest. I don't really know. I think only maybe like three, four hours. But honestly, no idea. Give me the fucking accessory. All I know is we're going on hour four. But we only got like another hour for this uh, part. Fucked a perception of time. Ah, I don't have a perception of time. I never expected that Velvet would actually eat Teresa. What else could she do? We never expected that Teresa would be a Therian either. Velvet and Lady Teresa weren't so different. They both loved their brothers. Not everyone loves their brothers. Some just want them dead. <sighs> so where does this leave us? Uh, it problematic. Seems we must search for the new Therian that will fill the void left by Teresa. It won't be easy to find another who could become a Therian. Hmm. Huh. Then it won't be easy for the Abbey either. And they still may not be able to awaken in Nominat. We still can't assume that we're in the clear, though. No, we can't. If it takes time for the Therian to be reborn, this could be our chance to strike. Whatever happened, the seven Therian's ties have been severed from Inominat. But we won't know if the Empyrean has been weakened until we find out for ourselves. We're at the I end of the game. And see if I can sense the new Therian. That doesn't seem so right. Let's go back to the prison island first. But I okay. think Velvet needs time to rest. Right. If we're going to take down Artorius, she has to be there with us. Yeah. Well, that's pretty fair, all things considered. I'm kind of sad Teresa died. I feel like that could have played out very differently. It just didn't. Sucks. First mate, there's trouble. We got an emergency message from Port Zexen. A ship you know, carrying tragedy dozens happens. of exorcists yeah. just set sail for Titania. They have orders to eliminate the Lord of Calamity. Yeesh. Looks like the hideout's not so hidden after all. Of course it's not. It wasn't me. I didn't tell them anything. Then you won't have any problem helping us. We're rescuing the Therians. Of course not. I won't let them take Kamoana again. Wait. That information came from the Bloodwings? No. From a peddler I often do business with. Exorcist operations like this are usually kept a closely guarded secret. And you're telling me a regular civilian knew about it? You think it's a trap? Trap or not, we don't have a choice. Our enemies know the odds. If they've set a trap for us, that means they think they can win. The Armatus! Yes. They're likely to throw armatized exorcists at us. Oh, that's gonna Even suck. Your demon arm can't eat Armati. You might just have a real problem on your hands. If I can't devour them, then we kill them. Yeah, if we overcome the Armati, we can win. Like with Oscar. But his Armatus was still incomplete. From what I could gather, if the exorcist remains armatized for too long, their Moloch will turn into a dragon. But to prevent these dragons from running wild, Melchior embedded a self-destruction art in oh, both Exorcist second. and Moloch. To think they would go that far. Oh. They are the Abbey. This is all just conjecture, of course, but we should prepare ourselves as best we can. Just make sure not to leave any regrets behind. Why is he just staring at me? What the fuck? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> what was that skit? What? I really can't fathom what the Abbey is doing. Even if they did let us know on purpose, why would they leave us be? I would have expected them to press the attack against us. Even if their aim is to capture our allies as some kind of leverage against us, their plan is too many holes. What if we decided to abandon Kamuana and the others? They'd be no closer to capturing Velvet. Do they actually want the Therians back? What are you saying? Why did Melchior place that illusion on a ball to lure Velvet in? That was so he could capture her, right? And in case he couldn't capture her, he could kill her and create another Therian. 
Okay. So if securing the Therians is so important to them, why would they throw Orthrus to the winds? That's a puzzler. Melchior was right there, and he didn't try to protect Orthrus at all. I don't understand it. It's like they're toying with us. I don't see any point in that either. They must know we won't give up. Actually, that could be close to the mark. What if they're just trying to rattle us? Everything would fit, including the assault on Titania. Whatever's going on, I don't think we're going to like it. Nope, it's probably going to suck. So, Eleanor, about that Armatus Oscar used, was that something the Abbey has been working on for a while? I was never involved in weapons development or anything like that, but I did hear of a secret research division. Word was that they were deciphering ancient scrolls and books coming from every corner of the Empire. Apparently, Teresa knew something of the ancient tongue, and they called her in to help from time to time. Did she work on Enominot's book? I was never privy to any of the details, but I think the books were mostly about controlling Malachim. Well, that Siegfried thing of Zavid's is some kind of power control device, right? The Abbey probably learned about Siegfried in one of those books, and realized they could use it to armatize. So Melchior tracked Zavid down and stole the formula. Makes sense. It was all so they could create the Armatus. Will Eifried be all right? Complete or not, they've seen that they can use the Armatus in battle. They have no use for him anymore. <sighs> Let's get back to Titania, Aizen. I'll help out with the ship. Right. Let's set sail. Why did he say Armatos and then Armadius and Armatos again? I feel like I don't I don't know that they spelt those differently at the time. But I'm also just not reading. Just listening, so maybe they did. Hey, we leveled up three times. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, 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 we're going. Whether or not we make it there is a different. Hmm. Is Bienfu the fucking spy? Urgent message. Let him know that they'll be arriving at Titania within a few hours. You little shit. So it was you all along, Bienfu. Miss Mogilu. I'm surprised I didn't sense it. There is a Gesh on you, interfering with our pact. Is that pronounced Gaius? <laughs> well played, Melchior. Impressive. That old man must have planned all of this from the very moment you escaped me. Even my imprisonment in Titania and my encounter with Velvet. All calculated down to the minute. <laughs> nice. F forgive me, Miss Mogilu. There was no way I could fight against Lord Melchior's arts. Uh, I don't care. I don't care about anything. And I don't care that I don't. Bird. Oh no, you caught me red-handed! Uh, I've been in league with the Abbey this whole time! That's not true! I'm the one you want! We were listening. We heard it all. Oh, boring. Fine then, do with us what you will. It's not like I trusted you to begin with. Spy or no spy, this was inevitable. Besides, you're not sorry. Make yourself useful and fight for us. <sighs> you're good at this cruelty that's also compassion thing, aren't you? I just don't have the time to deal with you two. After this whole business is over with, I'll devour you, if that's what you want. Hey, Velvet. Tell me, what does it feel like to hate? Does it torment you? 
Is it agony? Does the searing fire of your hatred empower you to feel? Does it give your life meaning where there was none? <laughs> Land ho! Titania! There's an Abbey ship in the front docks! What's that about? Take us around back! Make her blush 24-7? Yeah, it fits if her character. If you want your answer, fight by my side. You'll see it the very moment I kill Artorias. In the face of doom, still the crow caws defiantly. <laughs> you really know how to vex me. Dude, I'm so just... Ah, I need answers for so many things. God damn. It's, I don't know if it's that gay. So, you're using the forbidden arts. This has to be Melchior's doing. <laughs> Stop! I'm the one you want! The Lord of Calamity. That again? What a melodramatic name. It's what you're called by the scores of citizens whose lives you've ruined. Okay. Face the enormity of your sins. Oh. What idiocy. I was gonna say this is fucking stupid. <laughs> we'll carve the weight of your sin from your flesh. We'll we just are the be... wings of the divine will. <sighs> oh. As expected. Oh. Hey, okay. using different elements, are we? This might suck. Please stop! Do you not understand how dangerous an armadus is? Fools! This is a battle of life and death! Oh, I think I put it on square. Kill them. I have to kill. destroyed themselves just as I expected the Abbey they know exactly what they're doing Duh. grimoire where are the Therians couldn't tell you they came out of nowhere and before I knew it we were all split up how's the book nearly done but I'm still working on the critical passages at the very end all of you. We're getting close Get to actually finishing the game. Path. Oops. I'll find the Therians. Oh, you really think we can make it past a horde of armatized exorcists? Are they the same VA? No, Stay they're different VA. I don't care. <sighs> don't touch that! He's really coming apart at the seams. You don't have to do this alone. We're all in this together. And I promise. I promise I'll protect you, Velvet. You'll protect me. Long ago, Luffy said the same thing. But that sort of idealistic drivel will kill you. 
Make your worthless promises. They won't change reality. Look what happened to Luffy. Dead. And she got edgier. <laughs> and I... I couldn't protect him either. In the end, no matter how much he cared for me, my only brother, he... His life torn away from him. How oh, it must have hurt. Velvet. You I mean, worry about yourself. You know, they said. might. They might have the same VA, That's but I don't an think so. An, an order. We have to keep Inominat out of the picture so that I can kill Artorius. She got edgier and not in a good way. <laughs> Fuck. Let's go. Uh, we'll push okay. the enemy back and keep an eye out for the Therians. Fuck. All right, well. I know this isn't the best time, but I have something to say. It's sorry. Probably keep it to yourself. Please forgive me. I've been a spy for Lord Melchior. You were the one telling the Abbey about us? Yes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Melchior is a clever one, isn't he? Planting his spy right next to Magilu. After all, a forest is the best place to hide a tree. Melchior used his arts to place orders on Bienfu that overrode Magilu's pact. <sighs> That son of a dog. Oh. <laughs> Please don't hate me. I meant Melchior, not you. Really? Exerting control over someone else's life goes against everything Aizen stands for. We know you were forced to do it against your will. Well. But my spying put everyone in serious danger. That's still a fact. The Bloodwings also knew what we were up to. The Abbey would have figured it out with or without you. What'd you tell them anyway? Um, uh, that Velvet is actually pretty good wife material? And what fishing rods Aizen prefers? And what Miss Mogulu says in her sleep? And how fast Dial's tail regrows? What? That's what you told them? It's done. Pay it no more heed. But things must be set aright. Alright? How? Eleanor, I apologize for suspecting you. I'm sorry. Aizen? That's right. I must apologize as well. You already apologized. I'm deeply sorry, Lady Eleanor. Very well. Apologies accepted all around. What? Are exorcists yeah. using armatization aware that it could cost them their lives? Uh, yes. I'm sure they are. They absolutely are. If I were still with the Abbey, I would likely be using an armatus too. Endangering one's own life in order to save the many? It's the logical choice. But using something that dangerous so frequently in battle is absolutely wrong. The Abbey must be starting to feel the pressure too. Even so, the losses are unacceptably high. That's how badly they want the Therians, and how big a threat we represent. Or it could be that it has nothing to do with us, and the real point is to test their new weapon. That can't be. It's all an experiment? A blade that proves its true worth makes by sense, making though. It through battle unbroken. Are exorcists all that different? Your logic is sound, but it's still awful. I don't think we're anywhere near the end. Survive this time. By but the way. It won't be much longer until they've perfected the armatization. That's not the only thing we need to worry about where ticking clocks are concerned. Am I wrong? Velvet. It doesn't matter. We kill whoever gets in our way. We went from not killing to killing. Here's here's the thing. I don't think we're near the end of the game because we still have to deal with Malkior and fucking uh, Rokuro's brother. So... There's still like a couple of bosses at least before the end. Uh, however, they could just be like, fuck it, and put them both in the same fight. So, who knows? For now, though, I like to think that I still got another couple parts in me. Ooh, oh. Oh, my God. 
guardian was... was angry at it. Hold on. You can read a guardian's heart? Um, yeah, sort of. Damn it, I suddenly missing all the fucking time? Too. Oh. Makes me sick. But still, it fits their reason. They want strength, and no art can squeeze strength from a Moloch like that one. <laughs> oh, just get it over with. <laughs> Poor guy. But fair. Master this? He fucking did. Nah, I'm stupid. Damn. Arm wiggle. Why? Oh, yeah. Him and his... Him and his. Oh my god, he needs a new talent. He's not getting one. That explains a lot, actually. Got away. It was all I could do to flee. I have lost face. You don't have a face. Uh, I was so scared. It's okay now, dear. I won't let them cause you any more pain. M Medissa was the one who saved us. Thank you. I could never forgive them for involving children. That's all. Kuragane, head to the rear docks. Keep them safe. If you find the prince and Griffin. Take the Von Eltia and escape. As you wish. Roguro, take the Stormquell. I made it with the Orichalcum you gave me. You actually did it? I abandoned all desire and forged it with a clear mind. You will find no harder sword in all the world. Stormquell, made from Orichalcum. I'll use it well, Kurogane. Or, like, not. So, like... Can you actually use the fucking thing? No. 
Not at all. Damn you! Uh, it's complete! The Orichalcum Blade, Stormquell! It's the hardest blade the world has ever known. Even to an untrained eye, that sword is obviously something special. Kurogane is a real master! Color me amazed! Bum. Bum. The God Blade Storm Howl versus the Orichalcum Storm Quell. This will be something to see. Will it end in triumph, or will you need to try more oomph? The gods alone <coughs> know. The gods have nothing to do with it. Skill alone will determine who lives and who dies. Air. Answer. Okay. Onward to B2. Managed to avoid capture, huh, Prince? As did you. You did well to avoid Artorius and his forces. Lord Artorius is here? He is. I overheard some exorcists mention it. Artorius. If you want to die, do it alone. We're saving the Therians before anything else. Besides, we're so close to deciphering the ancient book. I know. We'll escape from the rear docks. Follow me. Watch out, Princey Wincy. You ain't no Therian. If Griffin gets there first, we're leaving you behind. Uh, understood. That, that's okay. All right, back we go. That was easy. And nothing bad happened. That's crazy. I'm saying that because it's a JRPG and something bad will happen. I know this. But I'm making the, the joke. This is about to go really bad. Will Artorius use an Armatus as well? I don't know. It's hard to believe that the Abbey's leader would risk using an I mean, end his own if he are Madison's with fucking... The Shepherd's reputation would be ruined if he self-destructed over some botched formula. On the other hand, if the risk is based on the user's ability, then the Legates might not have any trouble. So if Arturius were to try, he'd Armatize with Inomina. Can an Empyrean be used as an Armatus? I'm not even sure Arturius can handle that. He'll do it. Why else would he try to revive Inomina? Yeah, it's but to we're become a god. About an Empyrean. He'll succeed. I'm certain of it. This is the Shepherd Artorius we're talking about here. Whether god or devil stands in his way, he won't be swayed. That's who he is. Velvet. But it won't save him. He'll die by my hand. Empyrean or no Empyrean. It's also true. Oh, I have to go. Wow, they really let me get away with that. Okay. They really let me get away with that. Oh my god. I got the attachment. Scout ship departing. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Time to go. Okay. Hey, buddy. Eisen, there's trouble. The enemy found the Von Eltia. Several enemy ships are heading this way right now. Well, we got everybody. Let's Set go. Sail. Now. Velvet's now's not the time. You're in no condition. I'm uh glad we were able to save everyone. There's no escape, Lord of Calamity.
Benwick, forget me. Take the Von Altia and leave, now. That's madness. What do you think you're doing? If I don't take them down, they'll sink you from afar. Raise anchor. We'll make it through somehow. Aye, aye. But don't die. You hear me? Hey, we'll be fine. Probably. Crazy kids. We're not going to die. We're going to kill. And I'm glad they made them faceless. Kidding. There we go. What do we do now? We'll head to the front docks. To steal an Abbey ship, I take it. That's where the Abbey's main forces will be concentrated. And Lord Artorias should be there too. All the better. But we still don't have a way to fight Enominot. I told you, if you want to die, do it alone. I'm not asking you to come with me. Use me. Percival. Don't worry. Griffin got away. If you use me as a hostage, you should be able to steal a ship. I owe you one for this. But don't expect gratitude. I don't. Looks like this is our best and only bet. Dude, Velvet is being really fucking stupid right now. And it's kind of maddening. Uh, okay. So. All the way back. Okay. We're going to the front docks to escape. Don't forget that. I know. Arthur's first maxim, right? Well, he doesn't know what any of those are, so I have to tell him to be honest. I'm worried about this whole hostage thing, you mean? Yeah, that too, but Velvet's acting really strange. And that's unusual how? Moggy Lou, yelling at me won't change anything. Her <laughs> thirst for blood knows no bounds. And she's got all the self-control of a wounded beast. With the way she's acting, I'm not sure she'll be able to escape. She's cut her way through all her problems before. She can do it again. I hope so. But everything has its limits. There's no blade that will not break. Nor is there such a heart. When the time comes, you'll need to make a decision. It's best you start figuring it out now. When the time comes... Uh. Oh, this is so not good. Oh god, there's a snake here. There's a snake in my fort. Whew. Well, looks like we shook off our pursuit. Of course we did. This is the Von Eltia. No, it can't be. This is terrible. Turn back, now! What? There's no way we can do that. I finally deciphered the last part of the book. 
If what it says is true, then you know me not is already. Uh oh. The coast is clear. All right, let's make a break for the docks. <laughs> You're running. <sighs> well, it's Lord Artorius and the brother of Rokuro. Who I can't remember at the moment? Oh, that. No, stop! Please, now's the time to negotiate for safe passage. Step back, your highness. The girl before you wants nothing other than to kill me. You better believe it! <laughs> this is a trap. We're leaving. Let me go! That ain't gonna happen, kid. Don't forget, you're my ticket out of here, too. I'm not your tool! <coughs> Try to stop me and I'll take you down. Even you, Aizen. Oh no, he hurts. Don't I don't worry. I have another trick up my sleeve. That sword. Is that or a calcum? I think it was more the other thing. Job, oh, Tristan. Never Sorry. Thank you for the hydro pot can stretch. I should yeah, do all three. Right. Thank you for that bet spot. It may be made of or a calcum. But still <laughs> Time. Stand down, Shiki. Oh no. <laughs> Don't be a spoil sport. I'm just starting to have fun. Get caught in the middle of this, and even you won't survive unscathed. The one to face Velvet will be a nominat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Hello, sister. Did you miss me? Luffy. That's so fucked. Velvet's brother? So that's his game. That's right. I am Lafayette Crow. And more. I am also Empyrean Inominat, the suppressor. No. That's Inominat. If you're gonna do this, you've gotta commit. He's our enemy. I know! This is just... just another illusion! I'll devour all of you! This is about to hurt, isn't it? Oh, God! That's what you've been doing this whole time. Struggling against... Oh, God, he does... We do zero damage? What do you mean we do no damage? Oh, ow, 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 ow. Jesus Christ! Is this the power of an Empyrean? <laughs> Not in the slightest. <laughs> exactly. This boy is Empyrean in Nominat the Suppressor. <coughs> we took away his strength! By kidnapping the Therians? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you were a wee bit late. It was never about the amount of malevolence the Therians devoured. What we needed to awaken him was eight different types. Greed, conceit, lust, cowardice, selfishness, obsession. Those six Inominat had already obtained by the time you managed to tear the Therians away. That leaves just the two that Velvet carries inside her. Once Inominat has them, he will fully awaken. And I don't even need an Earth Pulse for that. 
I can eat them right here. I tell you will. If you're that weak, stay out of my way. <laughs> It's all... an illusion. That hurts, Velvet. Shut up! Shut up! Are you going to kill me, sister? This is so fucked. always so hard for me. I was so frail. All I did was cause you trouble. Is that why? Is that why you wanted me to go away? Well, her mind is snapping. Yeah, it's, it's up there. Of course you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Luffy. It hurt, didn't it? Fee! Kill him, please! What? Please? It's Luffy said! He's... He's my brother! Oh! <gasps> But Velvet, I never wanted you to avenge me. I mean, it's that sort of selfish emotion that creates malevolence, that creates the. This demons. is so fucked up. It's not okay. That's why I'm going to help Arthur. We're going to make all the pain in the world go away, including that hate, that ugly malevolence in you. Ugly malevolence. The awakened Inominat will suppress all negative emotions. He will remake humanity. God, it's so I hate this plan. It actually take work for away you. All their sins and people aren't people anymore. I think that's just what they intend. Like how they steal free will from the Malakim. It will be a peaceful world, free from pain. Shut the fuck up. So your what goal a this boring time world was to rob people of their free will. If even an exorcist, it's not actually your emotions the brother. It's betrayal. just like the body. I think it's really it's fucked. The way. I'll make this world a safe place, free from demons. That has always been my dream. Don't worry, my wounds will heal once I have eaten you, sister. Also, that's not always been his dream. What's going on? This is bad. We'll be swallowed alive. Wait. I always everything I did, I did for you. How could you do this to Thank you. It's because of what you've done that I need to make amends. You've hurt so many people. And all for nothing. You can't. Luffy. Well, unfortunate. 
They're within me now. I'll find them. Yeah, he was never injured, like at all. He just let that happen so that she would break for it. A weapon can't just be hard, you know. It's got to be flexible too, or it'll snap. If you're addressing me, do you care to test that out? Nah, I think I'll wait on that. At least until you and Anominat finish up your armatization. Shepherd Artorius, what have you done? It's all according to my plan, Your Highness. Let us return to the capital. So this is really fucked up. <laughs> we can have a shopkeep in here? <laughs> that even possible? <sighs> what just happened? We were eaten by an earth pulse. This happened to you before, didn't it? It's different this time. It looks like our awakened friend Inominat is using the land as his vessel. In other words, this Earth Pulse is now part of his body. I was able to flee him only because I found a rift in the Earth Pulse as it formed. So, Velvet and the others? I guess I won my bet. Took long enough. Bravo! You do have a talent, if nothing else. Oh, Melchior. If you're here, this place must be more important than I suspected. Move aside. I must close this Earth Pulse Rift. Bienzu, protect the Rift! Do well and I'll forgive that little betrayal of yours! But if you run, my curse will follow you for eternity. You got it. It looks like I just won my bet. If I let you seal this rift now, I'll never collect. That's disturbing. Illusions won't work on me. You can't break a heart that's already broken. That day, I interrupted my art when your heart broke. I suppose I was taking pity upon my student. But this time, know that I won't hold back. I will grind your heart into dust! Oh no. Okay, we're on a time limit. Got it. <laughs> uh, uh, oh no. Uh, you're awake. I'm glad to see you're okay. Oh my god, you're okay. It Good. Looks like we got sucked into the earth pulse. Again? Hey, where's Velvet? <laughs> Are you all right, Eleanor? Oh no, torture. Yep. What about everyone else? I'm fine. But Kill. Kill. They killed so many. Oh, she's Slaughtered. snapped fully. Good. Slaughtered. It was all for him. I killed for him. But he said I was ugly. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. She's doing well. All for nothing. I can't. I have to kill. I die. <gasps> the whole time, she... You're awake. Come on, we're leaving. I have to kill them. But Inominat is your... It's just an illusion! A fake! A trick! Or... Buddy. What if it was really him? Then that means he betrayed me, doesn't it? Oh no. <laughs> you think I can't kill a traitor like him? Why? Why wouldn't I? Just how many do you think I've killed? You, who watched me do it! He is snapping I'm fully. Sorry. Velvet! Hey. Fluffy, <laughs> time to wake up. I told 
Don't also, hey, Dino. Me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Look how happy she was at the beginning of the game. Look. <laughs> no, this is different. A vision of the past? See, I killed him. It was easy. I'm used to it by now. All right, we're getting out of here with your power. But now we've got to find Eisen and the rest. I said now. Uh, uh, uh. Enough. Stop it. They're the ones who need to be stopped. Jesus Isn't Christ, right? Velvet! I'll kill them. I'll kill them all! You must calm down. Who's that bitch? The main character? <laughs> Dino, I want you to know that you've you've come in. We're 30 hours into the game. There's a lot of shit that she's been dealing with. <laughs> she 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 has mentally been Walked over quite a lot in the last like four hours, <laughs> really bad. So you know she's she's dealing with some shit. Also, Donna, how you doing? You doing well? Fine, I'll calm down and look for an exit. That's what you want, right? Well, this. What up? Well, this isn't good. Whatever the case, we have to get out of here. Let's keep moving for now. Yeah. What do we have for time here? Just under five hours. Okay. We'll Are probably get out of the oath ball stuff, I guess. Yeah, I am. But I'm worried about Velvet. Berserked. This Oof. may be more than he can bear. Not that I blame him. Laffy said, "Perhaps you should rest within me for a while." No. But if you don't, then... I know. But if I hide, it'll only hurt Velvet even more. I should at least be at her side. You really have become stronger. But I haven't. I hate it. But there's nothing I can do to help Velvet now. And she's so in pain. Having someone nearby can be all the help you need sometimes. Is it enough I right now, I though? I lost my mother. Uh. Eleanor... So let's Islands of the answer, Velvet she'd win. Search for the others, all right? Just remember that I'm always with you, Laffy said. I know. And she'd rip Thank them you. apart. <laughs> so let's hope violence is not the answer, actually. Because <laughs> if she finds that they are not useful to her anymore, they ain't gonna last very long. <laughs> oh yeah, also, yeah, we, we did try that. It went worse. What was that? Probably fight things in here. Actually, I'm say those words out loud. Oh, you mean how you've been you've been doing violence? What? I asked how you were. You answered with violence. I don't think we have a chance. Okay. What level are they? 47. That's not bad. We really need to level up. Laffy set level. We will need to be extremely wary. Dragon! 
There you go. I hope I did around find out. Well, I'm not gonna. Pretty content with what I'm doing at the moment. Oh. This way, huh? <laughs> Oh, God, okay. How slow are you? Are you fast or slow? You're kind of super fast. By that, I mean very slow. Thanks. It's fine. We will need to be extremely wary. That worked, ish. Was fine. Oh, okay. on. Expedition has come back. Oh, I don't know how they're going to reach me in the void, but thanks. Wow, we lost all of it? We're two levels ahead. What do you mean? How the fuck you managed that? God damn it. Oh, there's a chest over there. Oh, it's bronze? Well, this is worth it at all. Five peach gels? Okay, well, whatever's coming up is about to hurt, I guess. That boy who called himself Inominat. Could he really be Velvet's younger brother? No, he's it number one. It could have been one. an illusion intended to torment her. Don't you agree, Eleanor? I do. Velvet's objective is avenging her brother, after all. We've all seen how strongly she feels about it. I find it hard to believe that the one so dear to her is still alive. I don't know what powers Inominat possesses, but I think that really was her little brother. Velvet was able to see past Melchior's illusions. But look at her now. I just don't want to believe that the real Lofi could do such a thing. Could it be possible that Inominat was reborn into her brother's body? I don't know. But if that was the case, Shh. I'm not sure Velvet would be in so the much revenge? Agony. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> There's I one guess. very long revenge story. Not actually being Velvet's brother. It makes a twisted sort of sense. But it's too awful. Ta-da! Pain and sadness. This game literally only exists off of depression. <laughs> like, no, there's no happiness here. <laughs> really bad. Uh. We will need to be extremely wary. The hell? There we go. I 
had no problems here. Fine to remember not all tales end in positives. All the tales games do. I think. Either that or this is the only one that doesn't. To which honestly I kinda see that happening. I mean, stories in general. Yeah, I, I got what you were going with that. I was just dating that, like, tales again of themselves. Yeah. Really pretty. I'm not one to go easy. Hey. Oh, we got shimmery shoes. Are they better than... They're a higher rarity. I would say yes. Which are these? Yeah. All right, are you annoying to kill? Great, I got stunned right as he did that. Pretty cringe. Okay. This fight is over. God, I don't think we're gonna fucking get to the level cap that they're currently fighting me at. They're like 10 levels ahead and I'm doing okay, but like... I think I should be? Yeah, I'm gonna just ask y'all. I'm plus to you? All right, cool. Thanks. Can I leave, please? I'd like to be done with this area. Stop breaking your memories. Is this? Look. Hey, stay with me. I'll get someone right away. It's okay. I'm Tired. Have you been journeying long, then? Ten years. My master entrusted everything to me, but I couldn't do anything. Ten years? My wings are weak. It... it doesn't matter anymore. I see. If you've been working that hard, you surely need a break. I just happened to get my hands on some prickle boar meat. I'll be cooking up a stew for Waiting you. for Velvet's hand to come through and care to join me? rip it apart. No way. Yes, a little. All I have on me now is this apple. Here. Once your belly is full of warm food, you'll be able to pick yourself back up. I can feel it. Your body is shouting, I want to live. I'm a disgrace. I don't deserve to live. Is life something you have to earn? To deserve? Oh. <laughs> These feelings are natural. You Ooh. eat when you're hungry and cry when you're sad. Feeling these things is proof that we're alive. Alive? What's your name? Mine is Celica. Celica Crow. It's Velvet's sister. <laughs> Meeting I her husband. Uh, Tori. Uh... No, uh, Arthur. I'm Arthur. That's fair. That's understandable. You're a little angry. Uh, 
What in the world? The one that died was pregnant? That? Yep. Rupero, hey! Glad you guys are here. You saw it too then? Sure did. Artorius. And he called himself Arthur. I've heard of this. The Earth and Historia. They say that events on the world's surface cast imprints on the Earth pulse that runs below. In other words, an illusion of the past. It's not an illusion. That was my sister. So, you managed to fool her too, is it? Yes. Yes, that must be it. That's why she freed me from the prison. <laughs> They're all like, they have very Rokuro, different responses. <laughs> have you recovered from your wounds? Yep. Tough as nails. That's old Rokuro. And his sword is fucking broken again. I'm more worried about Velvet. Is she okay? Uh, how could she be okay? Inominat is reborn, and it's her little brother. A blade can't just be hard. It's got to be flexible, or it'll snap the first time it meets an unexpected force. I misunderstood the true meaning of strength, and so did he. Let's just worry about ourselves for now. What? This Earth Pulse is completely under Inominat's domain. We can think of it as an extension of his body. Yeah, which means my power won't get us out of here. Be wary. Inominat may be the one showing us these memories. Remember, he's after Velvet. And the two types of malevolence inside her. True. And we may be able to use that against him to get us out of here. What are you saying? Just use her? If it's necessary. We have to keep moving. Nothing will be gained by staying here. And we ought to look for Mighty I Lou. think so? Even she doesn't deserve to be stuck here forever. I think so? <laughs> Honestly, I'm unsure about that one. Because they could also just be literally just memories bubbling to the surface. I was say, that thing disappeared on its own. So, what is this Earth and Historia you mentioned? As I've said, an Earth I think once we leave this place, I think I'll be calling it a the land. heart. Wind blows, water flows, birds fly, flowers bloom. All actions in nature leave their mark on the Earth Pulse. These marks become etched within the land itself. Oh God, it's three in the morning. part of the Earth Pulse, like memories. Yep. So it's a record of the world's past. Does it remember human and Moloch deeds? Everything that occurs is part of nature, including the acts of humans, Malachim, and even demons. So that means that even this very conversation is being recorded in the Earth and Historia? Anything bad I've done in secret... <laughs> Thankfully, the there is no two-hour cutscene. Back. The land sees it all. My insults? It's just an example. Pay it no mind. Does that mean that Inominat is drawing specific memories from the Earth and Historia and showing them to Velvet? I believe so. That's how Rokuro and I saw the same thing, even though we weren't there. With the Earth itself as his vessel, it's a trick only Inominat could pull off. Awfully devious for a self-styled Empyrean. But the attack did strike home. Keep a close watch on her until we're out of the Earth Pulse. Right. She's not doing well. Velvet's psyche took a heavy blow there. Yes, she's in rough shape. How long do you think she'll last? What do you mean? Just what I said. Remember, hardness alone won't save you from breaking. If she keeps being shaken up like this, she won't be able to handle it. But what can we do? If she breaks, she breaks. Until then, <laughs> All right. we'll go on with our mission. What? Mr. Rocky Three. If you let sympathy fog your vision, you can end up crashed on a reef. Even so, we can't just let her suffer. It's too much. I'm fairly sure that Velvet would say the same thing if she was in Aizen's place. And do you agree, Rokuro? Me? I still have a debt to Velvet. I will pay it. But in the end, her fate will be something she'll have to decide for herself. That's true, but... Then I have a decision of my own to make. I won't give up on Velvet, no matter what. Well, that's Listen. nice of him. Do what you have to. We won't stop you. Hey. 
Not that you could. The god known as Laffy Set. Or B. Oh. Turn around, please. Oh, I saw that at the last second. A foe worth killing. There you go. Not even worth my time. Look how happy she is right now. <laughs> Look how quickly that's going to end. <laughs> so are we done now? We we out? <laughs> oh fucking nope. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't think. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't think this leads anywhere. So this is about to be a bad idea, but it is right here. So we're going to do it. Cool. I got a chest. With shit we can't pick up. Awesome. Anything else? Well, personally, I don't think. Oh, you know. Much of anything. Aside from, from use a bitch. bitch. <laughs> Base motherfucker since minute one. He's, you know what? He's been pretty good. Honestly. Been pretty chill. Been pretty good vibes, honestly. Well, this wasn't nearly as bad as it would be. I lied. Oh, Welcome no. Welcome home, Arthur. Oh, God. Hi, Selica. I fixed the fence around the house. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. With the brigands stepping up their attacks, the town elders have been worried. But this should put their minds at ease. No. If the brigands turn into demons, a mere fence won't stop them. Hmm? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty confident in my carpentry. And the other two? Probably at the Cape again. I've warned them a hundred times that it's dangerous. Luffy said probably badgered Velvet into going. Don't worry, she'll watch out for him. Yeah, I can only hope that this little one grows up to be as strong as she is one day. Huh? You're happy, I hope. Of course I am. I, I never thought I could ever be this happy. Just waiting for the claw jump scare. We're getting a lot of really good backstory and exposition here. I... I, I only wish I'd known earlier. I would have made something even nicer for you. You made this for me? Yeah. I put all my heart into it. I'll cherish well, that... it always. It'll remind me of this happy day. Explains a lot if that's all your heart. Let this serve as proof of our love. Uh-oh. This I swear. I swear to protect you both with my life. Look how hat oh. My phone's at twenty percent now. That's We're getting close. Lord Artorius is past. <laughs> uh oh. No, oh, that's rich. You mean you believe that tripe? It's all a pack of lies. His smile, his promise, 
God. Everything. So he has no life to speak of. Well. It. Well, that's not great. The fuck is that? What we just saw. Was that from before the opening? Yeah. Celica was there. And Artorias still had use of his arm. It didn't look like he was an exorcist either. I never would have thought Lord Artorias could smile so tenderly. But he's since become an exorcist, taking on the mantle of Shepherd. Please put your kitty world, away. Because he lost his beloved wife. I'd understand if you wanted to back out. But at this rate, I think the time is coming. Not much longer now. It's coming. All right. To think I ate up his life. He wants to play. Without no. questioning a word. You want me in? What a joke. Ooh. And I make the jump. As Oh, never mind. There's nothing to jump. Uh oh. There we go. Don't do it. Don't. Velvet didn't know those things about Artorias and Celica, did she? Probably not. That was when the two were alone and first getting to know each other. We were seeing glimpses of a warm, loving family. But really, it just gave me the creeps. I'm holding Here, forward right now. <laughs> I could keenly feel Unominat scheming behind everything we saw. He's trying to get at Velvet. I think she used to truly love Lord Artorias. Having that happy past thrust in front of her at a time like this must be tearing her apart. It is. Probably, but a demon like me wouldn't understand. What Velvet is going through is horrible. Even as a human, I can scarcely imagine what it must be like. I'm sure it's Could fine. I approach it just a little bit, because like her, I was his pupil. Artorias said he needed two types of malevolence to awaken an Ominat. The illusions at a ball. Making sure we knew about the attack on Titania. And Inomi not appearing as her brother. If all of that was planned to extract the malevolence from her, we'd all better brace for worse to come. Hey, stop fucking chasing me. Oh, hey, you know what? I'm glad you weren't chasing me at that point. Because I would have fucking died. Great. Oh, we really can't suffer any more of these. Um. The Scarlet Knight? This is Velvet's village. Damn. So many of them. Salika, I'm coming! It's too late! Take Velvet and Lafayette and run! I can't do that! I want to have my life with you! With our child! Arthur! Salika!
Why? Why? Why couldn't I? Why couldn't I protect my own family? Remember this moment well, Artorius. Humans are weak, filled with sin. Or busted his hand fist. <laughs> Not sure that's exactly what the happened. The people of this village offered you and your beloved family up to the demon brigands. A sacrifice so that they could escape and hide. No, they wouldn't. It happens often. The reason people act on is burdened by the weight of their sins. However... I have found a method to adjust their reason. A domain? What is this incredible power? A little bright. Don't tell me the Empyrean we've been searching for was here this whole time. These... Malachim... So they have been reborn, but be not deceived. They are not the same people you knew. Holy fuck, I was kind of right. Why? Why must fate be so cruel? It appears that Inominat's resurrection is incomplete. We must guide him until we understand why. I'll be taking these Malakim. Wait! Sorry, I couldn't keep my promise. Essentially, yes. I'll make things right. I'll abandon who I am. Nameless Moloch. I will forge a pact with you. I will put an end. To all the pain in this world. Do you have it in you? You who abandoned my friend's ideals and fled. On the souls of my dead master, wife, and child. This I swear. That does mean that Velvet my did in fact kill her sister is again. Colbrand. Or I have inherited Peter. the will and the strength of Claude and Didn't really kill her though former head of the exorcists. Very well. Let tonight's tragedy change fate and birth salvation. Oh, but th so this is way in the past. She she attains a will later, which is how she, um, okay, thanks. Which is how she, um, that saved her sister. It, it was me. You don't remember? Not at all. They said you were reborn as a Moloch. That means... What exactly? The soul of a human who passed away can, given the right trigger, be reborn as a Moloch. You're saying that Artorius's child was reborn as Lafisa? If what we saw was real, yes. <laughs> uh, so the female Moloch that was born along with him was... My sister's reincarnation, but I ate her long ago. She what? told you to do it. You didn't know, right? I knew. I had already caught on to who Ceres really was. Velvet. But it doesn't matter. What does it change? I'll devour anything to fulfill my goal. My sister, my brother, even the world. That's who I am. That's all I am. There's more to you, but like, you know what? You're you're in your edgy phase, so
Okay. That was the day all of this started, wasn't it? Yeah, the opening. Oh, anti <laughs> was halfway revived and demons became visible yeah. to all. His power also robbed almost every Moloch of their free will that day. I never imagined that Lord Artorius's quest to change the world was so steeped in tragedy. The villagers should have never sold them out to those bandits. I think they did. It was cruel, yes, but nothing remarkable. People are capable of anything when under pressure. Even more so when they can do it under the mantle of the greater good. Velvet's family was probably the furthest outside the village circle that night. That's pure selfishness. Humans are selfish creatures. Yeah. You should be aware of that by now. That's why you said what you said just now, even if you didn't know it. Artorius's quest to change the world, not Artorius's quest to save humanity. Uh, I... I mean no disrespect. It's just an observation. Ooh. A man with the power to change the world turned his back on the potential of humanity. That may be the biggest tragedy of that night. The savior of the world lost all hope in its people. Hey, my expedition's back. That's fun. Take oh my god, can Scouts. we not get anything from this? Rough, man. Uh, don't do it. Be kind. A save point. That means we're at the end. Thank god. Now, if I was real cruel, technically, we've hit the five-hour mark. A little over it at this point. I could be like, ah, fuck it, and and turn it off. But we will we will push forward a little bit because I think probably a boss fight and some stuff going on. I hmm hmm hmm. Leave you guys wanting more? You know what? I haven't been cruel with a cliffhanger in a while. That's where we're going to stop. Yeah, that's where we're going to stop. Because we're at 11 hours. I'm fucking... It's it's almost 4 in the morning, and I should probably get some rest. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Much to the absolute... Probably pain to anybody watching this video later. Or watching this stream now <laughs> uh we are gonna stop there so that's all uh we'll be back we uh like i said we still have much more of the game to go i'm sure so let's see how velvet takes the rest of this area probably not well she's not having a great time so either way youtube it was a blast i hope you enjoyed sorry for the cliffhanger but i need rest and i need to figure out some stuff for next week so that being said, I hope you had fun with these two parts, um, and specifically this one. This one had a lot of twists and turns and pain, and a surprising amount of, like, genuine mind break. So, yeah, that was crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching, YouTube. Bye! Bye! Bye!